everybody hello <laughs> hey let me get into comments real quick but uh what's up everybody in chat how you guys doing and uh we uh curtis schultz is right here new sound wave is right here two minis right there and raw doom is right here uh, tonight we are doing the uh final episode for halloween bangers and i was just telling everybody we were talking for the last hour and shit um about what i was going to talk about and shit like that but what's up pat how you doing uh first i just want to say uh thank you to everybody uh raw talk curtis new sound wave and too many figures we're missing uh jason might be in here in a little bit and pat uh as, as always man uh wish you were here bro um we had six fucking episodes it started at the end of uh, september and went through october and uh curtis had a really good idea with doing halloween bangers man once he said that like i said in the first couple episodes was uh, that's a perfect idea. I love it. Let's fucking go with it and let's start something up. And, we, and Curtis and I really took a lot of time, uh, about three, four hours sometimes in the beginning to talk about what we were going to do. And then uh, just having a really good conversations with Curtis is a great fucking guy, man. I love talking to this guy late at night. And he's he's a real banger because it's 12 midnight for, he, for me and it's three o'clock in the morning for him. And he'll just keep going with me, man. So <laughs> shout out to Curtis for having a, a, a really good idea, you guys. Uh, perfect. And I just want to go over the, the episodes from the first one was uh, Scream. And that was Pac's first idea was like, well, if we're going to talk about the only horror movie that I like is Scream. So we're like, all right, Pac, we'll give you that one. Um, <laughs> but then it ended up being a really good topic of conversation and brought in a lot of stuff. I bought a mask for it. So that was really cool. Um, Apparition was the second one, which my friend Jason, who's not here, might show up. He, he was talking or he was involved in that movie. So that really brought it home for me. And that was a really cool topic of conversation as well. Then Too Many had The Lost Boys, which The Lost Boys, I never shunned that down at all. Once Too Many said The Lost Boys, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing The Lost Boys. And that was very, very fucking cool. And that, was, that had a really long a really yeah. long, a nine hour fucking uh, episode and shit. Yeah. Um, then Curtis Schultz did for season uh, season one, episode four was Halloween cartoons and Elvira. That one got a little raunchy. We had a lot of naked pictures in there, had some uh, nudity and shit. So I had, <laughs> I had to change the thumbnail to 18 and up only. That was really fun. And then uh, five was Friday the 13th, one, two, and three. Uh, and then tonight is 6, 1978 Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis. We're going to be talking about zombies, and we got a giveaway. Uh, everybody in chat for the giveaway. After we talk about Halloween 1978, give it about 35, 40 minutes. Whenever we start to uh, start slowing down, excuse me, start slowing down on it, I'm going to give the uh, instructions or the rules for this game for the um, Halloween bangers um, giveaway, which too many figures did a great piece for us. Uh, Curtis Schultz applied his shit. Rock talk applied his shit right here. And I got some shit in here too, that will go into a package to whoever wins with your, uh, name in the hat. Now we're going to do the name in the hacks. I couldn't figure out the pinwheel, but, uh, I'll, I'll, I will give you guys the information on that. If everybody in chat wants to stick around, you guys are welcome to stick around and you might, you might win this fucking gift. We'll give rules in about a half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say happy birthday to Saro Nunspa82. If you guys don't know him, check him out on YouTube. I think everybody here in chat knows Saro. He does really good photography now. He started out with um, doing uh, reviews on Transformers and stuff. He is part of the uh, Rejecticons with Kato and um, Umutabi and Larkin's Lair. Saro's a great guy. Um, if, happy birthday to him. And he's got Instagram, Sardo, I think it's Sardo Numspa82 on Instagram. I got to mm -hmm. check that out. But, and shout out to Pat, uh, Three Live Toys is what Pat from Three Live Stream is now doing on Instagram. He's selling and moving a lot of his fucking shit that he has, diecast cars. He's doing uh, G.I. Joe's and Transformers. So if you guys want any cool fucking toys now, these toys are legit. He don't sell shit. I've seen a lot of his fucking inventory, and it's really, really good. He's got really good prices too you don't fuck around with like trying to scalp or nothing like that so shout out pack at three live toys on instagram to check out some of the stuff he's got for sale and pack at three live stream on instagram and you check out some of his stuff because he's got he's still starting so he's kind of like molding the two together there's the only die cast on three live toys right now but his other stuff is on his original and shout out to andre cruz this guy right here oh, there it is this guy right here andre cruz sent me this beautiful die cast piece that is complete was completely taken apart completely refurbished repainted new stickers new rims new wheels new fucking steering wheel and he banged this one out for me now we'll be talking about this later on and i'll get really high details on it when, if we're talking about die cast at that point but if you guys are interested uh, check out andre cruz at a n d r e s c r u x 2022 andres crux 2022 at instagram that motherfucker's got 
banging customs. It's ridiculous. And uh, uh, shout out to Simple Eddie. You got some really good uh, customs too, but Simple Eddie, uh, I know you know Andre Cruz, bro, but this guy right here just, uh, he sent me something. So I wanted to bring him out and, and share that. And uh, shout out to Toy Fiend Cult. If you look at Mr. Raw Doom down here, you got to check out toyfiendcult.com and check out some of the stuff. Matter of fact, I'm going to play, oh, I'm going to get to his commercial later. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely in our itinerary, Raw Talk. Uh, but if I can bring up the movie real quick. So let me set that aside. So first things first was, now this movie started in 19, it was, came out in 1978. The director's John Carpenter. He actually did Escape from New York and They Live. They Live is fucking ridiculous. Um, when, we, uh, when I started watching it, I started remembering how not scary this movie actually was. It is definitely a slasher movie like the Jason uh, Friday, Friday the 13th movies. But as a kid, I think I remember it being kind of scary and kind of spooky. There was the boogeyman and shit, right? Um, it starts off with the, um, the two, two teenagers making out on a couch. Then they run upstairs to go fucking start making out and shit. Uh, the boyfriend leaves to go get something out of the car or he fucking leaves for the night. And, and the, the girls in there, all this city showing and shit. And the kid, for some reason, puts on a mask, grabs a fucking knife out of the fucking kitchen. He's like seven or eight years old, eight or nine years old, goes into the room and she turns around and he starts just fucking banging her with a fucking big ass knife, kills her comes downstairs. The parents happen to come home at that time. They're like, what the fuck? They send him to a fucking uh, a home, a psychiatric ward and shit to get evaluated. It takes 15 years for this guy to escape, finally escapes with a really cool escape scene. I thought that was pretty cool. He escapes and his first interest is going back to Haddonfield, Illinois to start killing motherfuckers. One of the questions I have is why exactly did he go back? So I understand his sister he, I understand the things with his sister, but why was he after Jamie Lee Curtis? And why was he after? But we'll get to that. Um, then he, uh, the detective starts trying to find him and shit and uh, ends up finding a, um, like a truck, a tow truck. And uh, the guy, the mechanic's dead. That's where uh, Michael gets his fucking, his setup, his fucking coveralls from. And uh, then he goes, uh, Michael goes to a fucking uh, little, uh, like a true value store and picks up some rope and some knives and, and a mask, a Halloween mask and shit, ends up fucking putting that mask on. Um, I thought the whole movie was really good. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis is very cute back in the day. She, she stayed and she kept cute all the way through and shout out Jamie Lee Curtis, still alive today. Uh, she's always been someone to me that I've really um, enjoyed watching any, any of the movies that she's in. She's cool, especially like True Lies and shit like that. She's funky. She's cool. She's uh, she's she seems like she's down to earth, like she's real down to earth. Um, once the uh, psychiatrist gets with the sheriff and is like, dude, sheriff, I'm telling you, Michael Myers has come back to this motherfucker. He's going to start killing people. And the sheriff's like, yeah, OK, maybe. So they go to the grave site uh, and where Judith Myers was, which is his sister that he killed. And uh, they find that the gravestone is missing. Fucking Michael Myers came back, picked the gravestone. At that point, they knew shit was going to happen. Uh, now the kill time begins. People just start dying. There's fucking kill. There's boobs. There's tits. There's fucking the girl in the laundry room, the girl in the bed, the, the, the guy, Bob, that fucking gets shanked in the fucking chest and banging there. Super cool. Uh, and then as the fight goes on, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis ends up getting a pretty good stab at him with a crochet needle to the fucking neck. Uh, he gets a hanger in the eye. He gets a knife to the chest. He gets five shots from the fucking psychiatrist. He falls off the balcony. End of movie. He's gone. And then the fucking music plays. Love it. Uh, I like uh, part two. And a three was the weird one that didn't have anything to do with Michael Myers. And then it went four or five with the little girl. Um, anyway, um, Raw Talk, what was your take on the movie when you were a kid? You know, I remember um, my first time seeing that movie. You know, I was over uh, my Uncle Bones' uh, house over here. And... Um, it was just a crowd of kids. We were watching it, and it was just crazy. But it was the edited version because it wasn't really on cable. It was on Channel 11 over here. Okay. So, and they would play it during Halloween. So it was just like it was crazy when when you see when you see the uh, the the maniacs uh, burst out of the uh, the penitentiary along with Michael, like they're running over the cars. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, what's going on? So it was just. A very uh, spooky but influential film because this guy, he once he come to Haddonfield and you see him go outside, you see a, a brush of uh, like a little bush and he comes out to the side. He's just popping out, looking and popping back. You're like, well, what's going down with this? Guy? Yeah. Yeah, um, really. It was spooky to me. It was just like, yeah, this spooky. is going to be good. <laughs> um, 
not to be that guy, but let me let me cut it because I got two other things I wanted to go over. But if I can, let me go through chat real quick, see who's here. Um, we got uh, Zachary Seamus was first, bitches. Uh, thanks, Zachary. Appreciate that. Mick DJ ACDC. We got Big M. We got Old School. We got coming down, coming down. Simple Eddie, Frank Sire, and we got we got Kid with the Kung Fu Grip. What's up, Kid? Uh, we got TKD Bar. Always welcome. Uh, very very cool. Rob seventy eight. How you doing, man? I hope you're smoking it up, man. I might be later, brother. And uh, then then so it's good. That's good for chat. Now, everybody in chat, I will be putting your name in this bucket here for the opportunity. Um, now I, I know that last time I brought up pictures, we were kind of like, eh, wanting to talk instead of see pictures. So, but let me let me jump out of screen real quick. Let me go into my my pictures and so, show some of these. I'll bring up the director, a couple of the actors, actresses, and we can talk about while, while I'm. You guys mentioned chat if you want. Go ahead and interrupt me. Go ahead. I'll, I'll keep quiet. I'm just going to be in the background showing these up. Give me a minute. Go ahead, you guys. I'm out right now. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I will. I will definitely touch on like, uh, like Roy said when he was peeking out of the bushes and stuff. That was yeah. like sick, and I, that to me is like my first memory of like a horror character in the daytime. Mm -hmm. you know, you don't, they're all, it's always like usually nighttime stuff. But like when he was looking at her and she was in school, and she looked out the window and he was just standing in the street and like that shit was creepy, man. But my favorite was uh, when the one girl is in the kitchen and you see him like in the window behind her and he's like he just comes in and then he comes out and it's yeah, yeah that was my favorite stuff about him yeah that he was creeping all the time yeah yeah the laundry room scene yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah definitely <laughs> well yeah, me and everybody we took the shout, the shout out outs to like the thing on the tv which john carpenter did yeah, a year yeah. later and shit yeah, that, that shit was he was giving you hints what he was gonna do yeah hey shout out john carpenter for having a really good imaginative way to direct on yeah. several films old yeah. school 1980s nobody else to really go by except for the black and white things so black and white yeah. movies. So this guy did really good did his own the, music. the music too man he did all the score yeah. for for his movies like he does all the music and stuff so Hot, so he's multi composing, composing music that sounds really good comes from like the above right mm -hmm. something enters in and you, you your brain because you, you that's where like Mozart and shit came comes in. Beethoven. They all they all say that they had something intervene with them and and come in to really give them an idea of music and vibration. Yeah. Uh, when you hear the vibration frequency of this fucking Michael Myers uh, uh, sound is is superb in my opinion. Yeah. It really gets into your uh, your yeah. inner inside and shit. So shout out John Carpenter. Yeah, man. Well, see me, me, Susan, and my son Tristan. We we all sat down and watched Halloween one today, and I mean, I, I get it. Everybody likes it, but man, for some odd reason, it, it just it was going so slow for me. I either was falling asleep or caught myself going outside, play on my phone, and, and just, that's all right. I couldn't keep up the, okay. with the first one. That's okay. Yeah, that's all right. So, did when you were a kid, did you see it when you were a kid? Probably not. No shit. Yeah, yeah. So, I've seen it in my life. I've probably seen it ten times. Oh, for real? Yeah. Dang. You seen? See, it I was hundred? more into like Freddy Cougar and uh, mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw when I was a kid. Oh, okay. The big slashers, the big super killers. gore, super gore. Super yeah, gore. I like that super gore. <laughs> um, this is. Uh, Dr. Loomis, the psychiatrist, played yeah. by uh, Donald Pleasance. Pleasant. Big time actor. Yeah. What, what else was he in? Oh, now, he, didn't he play in all of them? No, yes. he played in most of them, but not all of them. Yeah. Uh, just, I think up to what? He wasn't in three. Four? He wasn't was he in three. In oh. And no. then he was in four and five. I think he was in six, if I'm correct. No, no Tristan was saying the last one was in five, and then he passed away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there was, there was somebody who I, I think there was another somebody that looked like him and took over. Maybe there was a guy. Well, the the, the doctor character showed up in the Rob, Rob Zombie one, but it was um the yeah, guy from Clock McDowell. McDowell. The guy, yeah, McDowell, yeah, McDowell. yeah. Clockwork yeah, yeah. Orange guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's yeah, I like movie. <laughs> I like this guy for the movie. And this was a screenshot yep. off of uh, Curtis Schultz's TV. So this is his 
Christmas lights he's got in the background right here. And I, I Those are Halloween added, lights, man. They're orange, bro. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, Here's he my, was bugging out through the whole series. Michael! Michael, you just don't know! The evil is in your town! Yeah! He's bugging. Yeah. He's like, damn, he's gonna snap. Yeah. I was waiting for him to snap. <laughs> but he, yeah. he actually did. When he pulled out the gun and popped him, I was like, oh, yeah. damn. <laughs> and he first shot him in the head, and then he shot him like the rest of his rounds in the fucking body and shit. But yeah, he, and so that's funny because in, in the beginning of the movie, you kind of think that the doctor has like a emotional tie to Michael. He knows he's psychotic from seeing him at six years old, but for 15 years, he's been applying his time and trying to evaluate and assess Michael and talk to him. So he's got to see him at three o'clock or, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon till six o'clock in the afternoon or whatever the psychiatrist does. Mm -hmm. So you get a, a, get a little bit of love for somebody, even though they're psychotic, mm -hmm. if you're trying to help them as a psychiatrist, because that's what doctors and psychiatrists do that they love their field because they love helping people he yeah. he loved michael but he still shot him five times <laughs> yeah. 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 i sent you i sent you pictures of michael falling off the balcony yeah, yeah i think that's he hit the ground he's laid out and then he, he's gone <laughs> but even even in a movie he says he he wanted to kill michael because he knew he if he if he ever escapes he will unleash terror so he's really against his advice that you know, they wouldn't take his his advice to kill him. At least yeah. you know this guy is going to be a danger to everyone. Yeah, I got a quick question. Yeah. Now, Halloween three season of the witch. At the end, was that guy that was in a uh, six in the black suit and the hat? Was he at the end of that? Yes, I movie? believe. So. Is that I how believe. it tied in there? Yeah, I, I well. No, I don't think it tied in because of that. I think it tied in because remember they had on a TV they were watching Halloween <coughs> on on the actual television in the beginning when the kids are watching the horror flick. Oh, they yeah, were that's actually right. watching Halloween. That's right. <laughs> you know, so, so that kind of tied in that glimmer of Michael. Season connect. season of the witch. I've literally literally watched one time, and I remember thinking. How disappointed it was that it wasn't a Michael Myers film. It was mm -hmm. something, and, and they did that with Freddy, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two, I believe too. Freddy comes in like for a split second, but it wasn't. It was more about the kids than it was fucking Freddy. I didn't really like two of that, but I didn't. Really, I didn't like three for sure. I hate to put down a movie, but it it, it was the worst of. The I like two because it was like the same night. That's yeah. what I liked about it. Well, well they three, said I didn't well, like. I didn't like three. Well, originally. It was always supposed to be different movies. Like each Halloween was supposed to be different. Michael was supposed to be only that that one phase right. that went into that was it. Then they That's go true. to a different type of Halloween and then they move on to another, like a tales of the from the crypt type thing. Each story have its own. Right. Each Halloween will have its own story. Right. So that's what they were trying to do. But people loved Michael so much, they say, Oh, well, we can't abandon this. Let's keep it going now. Hell yes. Uh, let me move on to the next character here. We got Mrs. Look at little Jamie Lee Curtis here. She's super cute. Well, how old do you think she is before I keep talking about how cute she is? She <laughs> is She's 19 18. or 20 there. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I think something 19, like that. 20. This is also screenshotted off of Curtis's special. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's <laughs> we got the angle perfect, but that's a really good shot of her because when you look at I, IDMB, there's not really too many good pictures like of, of her now. And, and if, like you really research, you can find some good ones of some kill scenes. But um, yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis, um, super cool. She did really well. Uh, she's a babysitter, and uh, I like her. I liked her in this movie 100%. And then you got Michael in the back right here, huh? She has a pretty <laughs> mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty in general. general. She was pretty in general. Yeah, she is. I was kind of like super attractive. And then she was in another uh, slasher, wasn't it? Um, prom night. Prom night. She was in another. She was in a few of them, I think. Yeah. So. She was in prom night. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Was she the boy in sleepaway camp? <laughs> <laughs> See, I just wouldn't mind seeing the back of her head. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, they all oh, said she's got a back tattoo. There you go. This is a there special kill scene 
from when she's trying to call Jamie Lee Curtis that say she's in trouble, but she's making all these. I won't even do them, get you guys excited. But she's making all these sex <laughs> noises, right? And Jamie's like, are you guys fucking around? Like, what's going on? And uh, she's a screamer. I'll put in, I'll put her into a screamer catalog or a category. She's all yeah. right. <laughs> nice little, not some titties right there. What's up, girl? Oh, excuse me. That's Linda, PJ Souls. Uh, sorry, Linda. Yeah. yeah. That is Linda. And here, I think this is Look at that mouth. Look at that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you seen those titties. They're in their stripes. They, this is, <laughs> oh wait 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 so she's she's in uh with john candy yeah she's in stripes she yeah. played in carrie with john travolta yeah she played in uh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a few of them i just can't wow. think of them right now there's quite a few she has like uh four hits right in a row which was carrie uh halloween something else and then stripes it was all boom 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 Look, this is a live. Let me see if I can click the live. No, it's a live picture that Curtis sent, but double double tap won't do anything. So, huh? Yeah, it, it, cool. it does a little move and it yeah it jiggles. That's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and so this is Michael Myers uh, with his hat yeah, on. That's, that's crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, this can from 1978 has that foil piece that you peel off, right? It doesn't have the uh, pop clip thing that's an old ass can mm. um I, I had no idea that michael myers looked like this <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah that's um oh shit i didn't write that down do you guys know his name i don't offhand but i know he was one of the people on set already oh they i gotta just, look. They, just, they used this show they used a lot of the same people over doing stuff that's how, that's how, the reason why he did uh his own scores is because he couldn't afford to get scores and you know they he compromised did really well let me see who let me i gotta give him a shout out so i am db halloween yeah i forget his name Damn. 1978 he was Oh, 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 come on. I bet Jason would know. If Jason was here, he'd be like, oh, that's fucking blah, blah, blah and shit. <laughs> Cat. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Same? What came out first? I think New York, Escape from New York came out for, first before The Thing, yeah. right? Okay. Nick Castle. Nick Castle. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. Awesome. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. Boom, Nick Castle. And uh, the three girls, we got uh, Linda, PJ Souls, Lindsay, Kylie Richards, and Lori, of course, uh, is uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, this girl, Keys. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Nancy Keys is the brunette. Oh, is that, so her name is not uh, Kylie Richards? No. Oh, okay. You, all right. I don't know how I got that that name then, but right on. So that's her name, right on. She's super cute, and she's the first one that dies. She's the one that gets yeah. all of the yeah. technically she's the walking all over the place in just the oversized buttoned up shirt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> All yeah. outside and shit. Hey, it's funny because these are our grandmas today. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Super, yeah. Super cute. I like the. I like that. Like that '70s mm -hmm. show. I like the the attire. I like. I like bell bottoms. I never used to like bell bottoms, but it, they're like flare pants and shit. So these girls were rocking the no bra, low cut fucking shirts, fucking all that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty yeah. cool. And then we have this guy it was my favorite death scene. He yeah. just he just gets laid. And he's going, he's, he's going to go get a beer and he's going to get laid again. But it's fucking Michael, <laughs> damn cock blocker, bro, and fucking kills him downstairs, man. I was like, damn. Dude, he lifts him up with one hand. Yeah. Yeah. And they hey, so, take that knife and throws it right through him in the wall and he's just hanging there off the ground. Yeah, like, and that's when you get the uh, the head tilt and shit. That was yeah. the coldest Michael just Fuck yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Me, uh, <laughs> Me and uh, my daughter, Maisie, were watching it last night, and uh, she's like, Dad, do you think that that would happen? I was like, he could stick a motherfucker like that, but his front torso would flop forward. I don't think that the weight of the knife, you know, you'd have to really, like, nail yeah. that motherfucker in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, it had to be a long knife, too. Yeah, yeah much longer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That wall's got to be able and to And the machete, uh, machete link. Mm-hmm. Hey. Excuse me, hang him up. I think that was it for the picture. So let me get out of here. Boom. And let me stop screen. 
Oh wait, I see. Do this. You know what was also cool about those movies back then? They had like everything you could relate to outside because we were actually, in a way, just living it. Like you, you see the conversion vans, which is yeah. the coolest thing ever to me. Period. Like vans are awesome. Hell yeah! So yeah, yeah that blue, that blue that soda shop. Uh, diners things like that so the scenery of all those type of horror flicks is what draws me in all the time right so, you know when you want to get into that mood and want to get away from this day and time you go into those movies you're like i don't remember that you know mm-hmm. for real that see that that was the first slasher movie i ever saw mm-hmm. so i remember it 1981 it came on tv on regular tv and my parents sat me down in front of it in front of the TV. Actually, they put it in my room because they had a party going on at the house. <laughs> what? What? So, what was the reason that that Michael was going after Jamie Lee Curtis so hard? All, all the all the teens was it just because they lived in Haddonfield and he was well, the teens got in the way? Yeah, the teens got in the way. Jamie, he was after Jamie because that was her his little sister. Right. Oh, that was, that's his sister. Yeah. Lori Madden but, or Lori uh, Lori Myers? No, yeah. the baby. But her, she, she had her name changed. Her like she got a yeah. like, like adopted or something. Wait, okay, hold on. Let me, I gotta take a piss, but that's that's interesting. For the life of me, I had no. Oh, hi, Maggie. How are you? Good. How are you? How was the How was the trip you went on? It was good. I just good. got back uh, yesterday, so I'm just still kind of like blah. But no hangups. Good. No hangups. No nothing bad. No, no. Well, we did have a fire in the hotel. Oh, yeah. Um, so oh, that man. was the first experience with that. But um, <laughs> other than that, it was good. So well, hey, good. We, we were in we were in a hotel at, in Disneyland and somebody pulled the fucking fire alarm. And yeah, 500 people were fucking coming out of all the rooms and fucking walking yeah. down the hallway going like, what's going on? We don't smell smoke. And nothing happened. Somebody just fucking pulled the fire alarm. Yeah, I thought it was a joke at first, and it was like four in the morning. Um, and so I literally like told my friend, I was like, I took, I literally opened my wallet and took the hotel key out of it. I'm like, I don't know why the fuck I just didn't grab something just in case, but I just couldn't think. Um, but it was it was legitimate. Um, it was like an electrical fire, but everything was fine. Um, at the end of the day, like nobody got hurt nothing nobody's stuff got damaged but it was just like not a long morning so <laughs> let me um so forgive me for inter- interrupting uh let me forgive me for uh everybody in chat i am so sorry i know that nobody likes to be in chat when they're not when they're being ignored and i don't mean to do that to you guys but i i it was kind of like once we get rid of the uh ha- halloween stuff uh, we'll definitely be interacting with you guys but um once uh frank sire came and said what's up m3 keep with the kung fu grip said uh where is he there he is bang bang uh, we got kid. We got Frank saying bang 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 bang. bang. Right, uh, Mick DJ doing well. I'm three and you. We got fucking simple Eddie big. Okay, so it's greetings and salutations from these gentlemen here. TKD Bar, Curtis, Frank, Rob, seventy. Okay, so I'm way back there. So I'll come down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jamie Lee. Okay, so and then uh, Andre is sending the heat. Yes, very 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 cool fucking shit he sends. Um, I would be after Jamie Lee too. You see the rack on that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good job, buddy. Old school got them. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. Yeah, man. She is in great shape, Simple Eddie. Yeah, she's always been in great shape. And three, are you going to put the shit I sent you into the raffle? Uh, kid with Kung Fu Grip. Uh, I got, um, I got, um, Raw Talks. Is that Raw Talks? You know about that, yeah? I, I just know what I sent you. I don't know yeah, about me, my brother's on another level. What was it? A, was it a middle finger there? I, I can give everybody a middle finger for three years. <laughs> oh, that's what. Oh. This um, guy. Oh, yeah, he's being my brother's being an asshole. One, one, two, three, everybody, middle finger. One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kid. <laughs> um, Ralph Vignarski, how you doing, bro? Happy Halloween weekend, everybody. Yes, sir. And Big M, hey, Kurt, Frank Sire, uh, happy Halloween, Ralph, TKD Bar. I hid in my little brother's closet for an hour after he went to bed. Then I started breathing heavy like Michael and shaking the door. Great prank. That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's that's fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. motherfucker would have got shot. Uh, uh, Ralph says, uh, don't know if anybody mentioned it, but when kid Michael is stabbing his yeah. sister, it's Deborah Hill's Hill's arm hand. doing the yeah. stabbing. Hand, okay. Yeah. At, uh, like a, like a... All right. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Ralph. That's pretty cool. Uh, Halloween 6 is the that's last one. That's probably the worst killing... <laughs> 
Oh, okay. What was, that? what was that one? Yeah, that would hurt. Like it was just like it was just like eh, eh, hey. It was like and the then, cycle. And then he looks with his mask guys at the knife doing this. Yeah, yeah. That's like like yeah, oh, the mask vision was, was good too, man. But that was that was also an ode to um psycho, psycho. The original yeah. cycle. Yeah. So yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis's mom. Yep. TKD Bar says the speech he gives is uh, uh, about Michael is chilling. That's the Dr. Loomis is saying no rhyme, no reason, just fucking is, is a killer and shit. Zach, we'll get into that. Um, Donald Pleasance in, is in the president from Escape from New York and, Pri yep. and Prince of Darkness, and he yes. is Dr. No from the Bond film. Damn. Yes. Yeah, Dr. No. Yeah. Ralph, you are killing it. We want yeah, to die. New York is John Carpenter, too. So I think that came out first before. Excuse me, gentlemen and ladies. When did Escape from New York <laughs> come out? Oh, 81, 82. 81? 81 or 82? Something like that. Hold on. Because the thing also, because Kurt Russell was in most of John Carpenter. That was 81. Yeah, because yeah, he, right? he didn't do he yeah. didn't do Halloween 2, right? Uh -huh. He didn't he didn't direct Halloween 2, right? John Carpenter? If I'm correct, let me go into it. I, I hey, trust who are uh, done Halloween too. What the fuck are you? Yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> hold on. So yeah. Escape from New York is eighty one. The Thing was eighty two. Halloween was seventy eight. Um. I thought uh I thought thing came out at the same time as uh LA. You mean New York? Oh no no LA I mean, New York. was way later. I mean New York. No Escape from New York was eighty one, but it uh Oh uh the director of Halloween two was Rick. Uh what the fuck is that? Rosenau? Rosenau? Yeah, see I thought that was right. Because he was busy doing Escape from New York. Yep. Yep, yep. Yo, it's funny because they got him <laughs> down for Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. What's yeah, that? he was involved He's in some capacity. Yeah, he was the director, like, uh, I guess, consultant director or something uh -huh. like that. He did Halloween. Oh, he did Halloween, too. Who? Hey. What's up, Jason? Uh, you want a little table? Oh, no, no, no. He was a consultant on it. Was he like a producer on it? I'm sure he was at least a producer, right? Yeah, consultant. Because, of course, like when, when you go in, it's a continuation of one. So he has some, you know, notes at the end yeah. and then it carries over. So, yeah. New one yet? He probably got an executive yeah. producer. You don't like it? All he right. did the fog. I wouldn't see Black Adam today. Is it good? That's all right. Gentlemen, this is and ladies and gentlemen, excuse me. This is Jason. You, some of you guys already know him, uh, Maggie. Hey. This is, um, Maggie, what up, Jason? Me, what up, hey, Jay? Um, kid or Raw Talk, and Curtis, and New Soundwave, and his wife is in the background, Susan. There, so I'll, I'll leave the camera like that real quick. So he just got in. He's got his McDonald's here, and he was asking about the new Halloween. So we, we can get into that in a second. But I just want to catch up with chat and. Um, Wait, hey, I gotta back you up. You said he's got McDonald's. Yeah. Y'all got uh the McRib back out there yeah. yet? Did you get that? No. It's only, for, it's only for two weeks. I heard. Yeah, I need to uh make a trip to McDonald's. Go get me a damn McRib. They said this is they're not doing it no more, right? After this. The Last time. Yeah. yeah I heard the Arby's. The Arby's one is better. Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now. I hate McDonald's. But love me some damn McRib. <laughs> hey, my my dad hated McDonald's. It always made him made him go to the bathroom and shit. Well, there's Curtis. <laughs> yep. What the hell happened? I don't know. Your internet, bro. It's your internet. Yeah. Hey, Curtis. Oh, always yeah. Three. Uh, John Copper yeah, yeah, was in the screenplay for that. That Halloween three. So he does the screenplay. Oh, okay. So he's credited with that. So. Oh wow. He's always involved, I guess, in some point. Yeah. So, what would if um, I my my favorite part is the ending. 
he gets shot because it's the final fight scene, like probably the last 15, 20 minutes. You know, the kids are scared, um, all that stuff. That's really cool. And the fact that he falls off the balcony and then like literally 10 seconds later, the, the cameraman looks down and he's gone. Um, where did he go? Did he go to that little pipe in that like in the brand new one that just came out where he's living in that kind of like sewer and shit? Does, does he always retreat to there to make himself bodily repair? Um, I don't know. That so, what happens to him? Does he disappear into he another? Goes, go he ahead. Goes back to the house. Remember, he had something under under the house, and, and yeah. I think it was in Halloween Five or something like that. Or, or was it H two O? H two O. They found out that there was a, a, a spot under the house where he was living. He was eating rats and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, that's H two O. Yeah, H two O. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so was he, he was living under the actual house in the was he, uh, and his kung fu. Was he cooking the rats <laughs> or was he eating them raw? Eating the raw. Raw. <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't even remember that at all. That that's not even in my like well, maybe he now. was cooking it. You never know because they had a lot of stuff down in that in that um area where he had his own little bed mat and stuff like that. My little room. Look at Ralph. Ralph had two McRibs this week. Oh, rub it in, Ralph. Rub it in. What's in the, the McRib? That's my only question. Is that a crack? Huh? Yeah. Crack? Yeah, y'all eating like Michael Myers out in this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's 3D printed meat. <laughs> well, you, people, are talking about the, people are talking about damn McRib. I'm going to go jump in the damn truck and we're going to go for a ride. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, don't you have um? What do they call DoorDash? DoorDash that shit, bro. It'll be like forty bucks for McRib, but fuck it. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't door, they don't DoorDash down here. They don't, huh? Too far in the woods. Yeah, they have to really make a dash. Couple <laughs> <in and out. laughs> hey, what's up, Lone Dragon? Stick around if you want to get your name entered for the fucking uh, giveaway, bro. Uh, but. All right, so I feel like uh, we kind of hit that point. Did do you does do you guys don't have any questions on like need to be answered? Because that was my main question to need to be answered was why was he after? Oh, where did he get his power from? He's obviously some demonic presence inside of him. That's clear. And then second was why was he going after Lori? I had no idea. Did you know that was his fucking baby sister? Yeah. Okay, so. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm the only one. I'm the only one. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I you your head in shame. Yes, yes. Did he kill his parents? No. Nah, Did you put an eggplant in that box? Wow. I can. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> dick, dick pics are going in there for sure. Uh, long back, long back, it's funny that it. you say that. Where were the parents through all this? Or did they die? They, they, didn't they go out? And then they came back, and, and the shit, the cops were there. Yeah, in the yeah. beginning, but what happened to them after I think they the, changed their that, name, yeah. too, or something, didn't they? They changed their name, their last name, or something? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. I, I can't that's remember that, if I did. That's the loose part of the script. Yeah. yeah. There's a movie that explains all that backstory about who she is, and I think it tells you about the parents, but I can't remember what one it was. Was it the one when, when the guy in black shows up and he explains that they were part of some type of cult? Or I think like that's that? part, ain't that part five? five? Yeah, part five, I believe, yeah. And it kind of gives you an idea about like why Michael's so strong and stuff. Because he supposedly has some kind of Cult power or something. Cult. Mm -hmm. Cult. That's why he can't be killed and stuff. You made a deal with the devil. So mm -hmm. Ralph says after part two, he's seriously burned. Really, he died. But they keep him in the mental hospital until he escapes from part four and goes back to the house. Right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Zach got an adult Happy Meal the other day. That's that's a little weird. That's a little weird there. Hey, Kid Grip, you didn't send me a shirt, bro. I don't think you're thinking of me, man, because I don't have no shirt from Kid with Kung Fu Grip, brother. Oh, you talking about what? Oh. I don't Is know. Hey, kid, me? you can shoot me a side text on that one, bro, because uh, I didn't. I, I definitely would have pulled it out, brother. Um, yeah. Whose parents? Lone Dragon. We're talking about Halloween, motherfucker. What the <laughs> hell are we talking about? Dude, look at the <laughs> thumbnail that you clicked on, man. <laughs> hey, bro. 
I'm just messing with you, Lone Dragon. We're talking about Halloween, uh, 1978. Uh, but that's what we're talking about, bro. And then so Ralph says the parents uh, put the house up for sale with Stroge, Troge Realty. Stroge Realty moved away in the book. They die in a car accident a while later. Damn, Ralph with the info. Okay. In the book. Okay. Oh, oh shit. 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 Kid, remind me. Kid, remind me. I didn't get a package from Kid with the Kung Fu Grip. Unless it's the the latest one that you sent, Raw the 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 uh the three pack. No, 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 no. no? I don't think it's the three pack. And uh, Ralph says Michael is part of the cult of Thorn. Cult. Damn, Ralph. Yeah, Thorn. Okay, yeah. it's the uh, stars uh, thing up in the sky. The yeah, he's under that that star. And these guys, they wear a tattoo. He has a similar tattoo and stuff yeah. like that. The markings. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of so, wish okay. they would have went on with that story because it was getting really interesting. Yeah. It, it, it moved stopped forward. After three. Oh, what did you say, Jimmy? I stopped watching after three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I liked the, I think I watched four. I, I did watch Halloween 2.0 or two, two Halloween. H2O. Was it H2O? H2O. H2O. I watched that. H2O. Well, do you know you know why he went after the girl? Fucking kid, man. You fucked up, bro. M3, you know why he went after the girl in four and five, right? <laughs> no, why? It was supposed to be, I believe, Lori's kid, right? Oh, oh yeah, her son. daughter. And that's why oh, now the the she new had a son, right? Oh, no, no, no. Daughter. Is it Halloween ends? The daughter, the, the girl in the clown suit in four and five. And oh, so, that was Danielle. What's her name? She's fucking hot as shit, too. Yeah, what, yeah we were talking. Hilarious. Daniel Harris. Daniel Harris, yeah. Let me see if I can bring up a picture of her. Yeah, because she was connected to Michael because that's why he was after her. Because yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. and Daniel she wore the same clown type of costume at the end. Yep. Stuff like that. Yeah. She would dream and she'll know she, when she where Michael is. She she killed somebody, didn't she? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah the, one, the first, the fourth, the number four. Yeah, and then they just like her. Michael did. Yeah, and then they sent her to a, a, a mental hospital. Yeah, yeah, hooked up to some machine, and the doctor was crazy there too. Oh yeah, look at her. I sent her in person. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She was in the last Boy Scout yeah. with uh, what's his name? Yeah, Bruce Willis and, and uh, Wayne. Halloween for Is she? Dang. Yes, we were just we were talking about that too. About uh, that, I I knew she looked familiar, and I couldn't put my fucking finger on in her uh, on it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's super cute. That's cool. Yeah, Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Danielle Harris. I have to spank bank that one. <laughs> Stop screaming. All right. But okay, so if we could, like, if you if you want, what like too many figures? What do you rate this movie one to ten? Uh, I'll give it a. I'll give it a nine point five. Yeah. Damn, I'll go, I'll go high with this one. This Maggie? one, it got better to me as I as I watched it when I was older. Okay, yeah. has Maggie ever seen it? I've seen it like twice, but it's been a while. Um, it's not my. I, I consider like this Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street like the core three and Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite of the three so like the other two just don't rank up to it to me so maybe like an eight but I don't it's been a while so okay. maybe I'll change my mind if I saw it more recently Curtis what do you think I give it a 9.5 to it's my favorite it he is my favorite slasher it trumps uh, uh Nightmare on Elm Street Oh hell yeah! Night Ooh, really? Freddy Krueger is <laughs> my least favorite out of all those guys. Oh shit! That's just uh, me. All right, and uh, Raw Talk, what do you rate it? I might have to give it a ten. Ooh, book, yeah. because uh, everything that's creepy about it, spooky about it, the boogeyman never dies. That whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, it had you shook. Because you're looking in your closets, and when it's dark, it's like, all right, <laughs> I see a shadow come out. Nah, yeah, this it's a 10 in horror flick slasher type of thing. Cool. For me, that he's the pinnacle, yeah, yeah, he's the pinnacle to me, too. It's yeah. damn, 
It might and, be because it was the first one I saw, and I was a kid, little kid. And yeah, same here. Yeah, it, I, it I me. <laughs> I really felt for the kid that fell on his pumpkin in the beginning scene. <laughs> uh, that, like literally, literally, I remember seeing that and going, "Oh, that's that's that's." I never cussed when I was a kid. I was like, "Oh, that's too Tommy bad, Doyle." You know? <laughs> yeah, was that Tommy Doyle that fell on it? I can't remember. I, I don't even know. And I watch uh, it every year, so. Yeah, me too. I watch it. I do watch it. I do. I watch it every year. Every year. Yeah. New sound wave. You so you barely saw it this time. You give it a probably a two, right? Uh, I'm gonna give it a snooze. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, it, it was a good movie for me to watch this afternoon to get a good little nap in. <laughs> oh, so, uh, I get. I, I'll give it about an eight point five. Okay. Eight point okay. five. When when I was a kid, as a scary movie, I'd I'd give it a, a ten. But now watching it as an adult, as many times as I've had, I'm like it's probably like for because I want to be I want to be scared and I want something to really like get me, you know. But the iconic that he's iconic as a motherfucker, yeah. and the music really gets me. I give it a nine for sure. I give it a nine. Yeah. Uh, Ralph Bednarski, you're still here, bro. What do you give the movie, sir? Oh, cool. what's the guy's okay. name that plays Ant Man? Um, I can't think of it. Paul Rudd. <laughs> Paul Rudd. Yeah, he plays the, the older Tommy Doyle in, in uh, yes, he does. Six and six. how do you guys know this shit, yeah, man? Wow. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Curtis is like sixty years old. <laughs> oh shit! I am not no sixty. I'm not even fifty yet, damn it. Shots. <laughs> Shots. I'm about to say, hey, that's good. <laughs> Ralph gives it a ten. No, but I, I'm a I've I've always been a movie buff. That's how my fam my family's all been in the movies, and that was our thing always. From my grandparents to my parents, my brothers, always brought the family together. Yeah, that's cool. So if I if I may, at the forty eight minute marker, do, are we all solid on Halloween? Can I change it to the giveaway? Um. Yeah. Do you want to do the giveaway right now, or do you want not to the giveaway right now? Just the just the rules, and then a raw talk or a, a toy fiend cult commercial, and then we'll talk about zombies. All right, and then read off the names that you have. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So, so far, first, let me share my screen and and do a raw talk commercial for toy okay. fiend cult, which I love. So here it comes. Give me give me oh. give me twenty two minutes. Hold on. Present. I don't know why I don't keep the fucking thing right down in my little tiles here, but I never do. Because there's no titties in it. There's no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have to do a titty. Uh, get a model. Right. Hey, raw, raw. You need you need a white t-shirt for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wet t-shirt contest. Yeah. Hmm. I'm down. <laughs> I, I, I got to get a local, a couple of strippers around the way. Don't put on the shirt and go get crazy. Oh shit! I'm trying to think of did I did I do anything weird? There, 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 there. Trying to get rid of see some craziness. Raw talk, real deal. Toy Fiend Colt. Check out the website. I love the music too. I did. I had a snatcher from Eric Barrier. Oh, there goes the tank shirt. Real quick clip. I was a fiend. <laughs> TVs don't do that anymore. No. <laughs> I know. Can I say something real quick? Are any of you guys old enough to remember it? Like, mm -hmm. 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the stations would shut down. <laughs> yep. And you see the... Dah! First, yeah. you get the flag. Yeah. And you, yeah. You know, you do the uh, yeah. the pre Pledge of Allegiance and stuff. And then... Yeah. Yep. Hey, Ralph, I will check that right now. Well, Jason Jason says he's got to say something real quick. Have you guys seen that movie Smile? Not yet. No. Don't see it. It's horrible. No. <laughs> no. Dude, I gave that movie a three. It's horrible. Oh, didn't you want to really? talk about the new Halloween movie, Jason? Me? No, that was him. Oh no, the, the oh yeah. So the the new new movie. 
Um, I, I didn't mind it for what it was, but it wasn't okay. The mask changed and I didn't realize the mask changed because I I'm not following up after, like we just said, like too many said, he only watched one, two and three and four or one, two, the, the, the earlier fucking Halloween really hit hard. But the, the new one, I was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I watched it, but I won't, I will never watch it again. I liked it. It actually does fit. I mean, at first it was a little bit kind of like, hmm, okay, yeah. And then I watched it again. I was like, okay, it, it does fit with uh, the first two in that series that, uh, yeah, what's his name? Did. Yeah. So there's been like three in the last five, four years or something like that, five years. Yeah. But Raw Talk loved it. He he fucking loved it. He's like, yeah, I, was, I, I loved it for again. I loved it for what it was. But I, I, I was sad when he went through the grinder. I was really yeah. Sad. I know. I was. I really want to see more. You know. It's spoilers. Was, sorry, but you should have seen it by now. It's been more. Yeah, than yeah. Years. Everyone should have seen it by now. But I yeah. mean, it was just the only part was Lori faking being happy. She was faking being happy. Like yeah. she's moving on with her life and stuff like that, and being happy. The grandmother or the or the mother or yeah. whatever she was trying to get into her head, but realizing at the end, like this, this ain't never. I'm never gonna be happy. I got to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> and that's when it, it it really got better in my in my, you know in my opinion. Right. Like she really got into killing mode herself. Right. So, yeah, we, the we, only thing I didn't like about the movie is that you ain't seen a damn uh, red balloon pop up. So, <laughs> do you like the Rob Zombie version compared to John Carpenter? Ooh. Of Halloween? Yeah. I don't know the two difference. I didn't even know Rob Zombie. I didn't even know Rob Zombie did fucking Halloween. Yeah, he did. He went over. I had no clue. Yeah, he didn't. His the first one was all right. It wasn't bad. The second one, though, because he said he didn't want to do no more, but the, I believe the studio forced him into making that second one, so he kind of like did whatever. I mean, he, he had his wife Moon in it, and she's weird. She's a horrible actress. She's in everything, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's your wife. You're like, I'm going to put you. You get a check, too. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get, get this yeah. money. <laughs> Wait, is Moon the girl in uh, the, the Rob Zombie movie where he's, she's um, the crazy blonde chick? That's yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 House of the Thousand Corpses. Well, the great actor. The whole the whole triple uh, threat of the first, yeah. first movie, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me let me bring up Ralph Bednarski's uh, his shit on uh, not eighties tees. It is um, Ralph Bednarski. What is it? It's, yeah. um, oh man, but let me put me on solo layout here. Ralph mm -hmm. Bednarski, I've ordered from it all the time, and I never. It's my, it's my memory, bro. So this is his rendition of a Michael Myers T-shirt. You can get on his site if you go to Ralph Ralph, Ralph Bednarski oh, on Instagram. Funny. Yeah, nice. and then nice. check this one out. He does some pretty good fucking art. And oh shit! Okay. Oh damn, I like that one. I mean, I like the other one too, but damn, that's tight. I know it's just like something to 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 throw up and wear and shit. Yeah, so, I don't know who that one was. Oh, this is sick, yeah, Bob. <laughs> oh yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the glasses. And the, hey, yeah. what is he? He's looking at some titties right now too. We know that. Yeah, that's dope. Good job, Ralph. I like those. That's bands. why he paused for a minute instead of kept going, and he was just like, whoa. Ooh. Yeah, send me the link to his <laughs> uh, his shop. Yeah, it is uh, Ralph Designs. Let's see why. Let's see, uh, oh, man. Ralph Bednarski art. I'm already following. Fucking, I will rock rock talk. You know how I am, man. I'm I'm kind of lame on that. I'll I will get That's that. All right. Yeah. And Ralph, he's in the chat. Yo, Ralph, send me your link to your your shop, or is it on on um Instagram and in your uh? Let me go. Uh oh, they're about to make some trades. Yes. What's up, Criminal <laughs> Element? How you doing, bro? At T Public. Yes, I'm so sorry, Ralph. T Public. Oh, it's T Public. I'm, I'm horrible, Ralph. T Public. Okay. All right. So if so, Halloween. Perfect. I love the movie. I love the franchise. I think it's great. Michael Myers. Thank you for bringing him to the world, Mr. John Carpenter. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So there's a giveaway here. Everybody in chat, if you're listening, um, everybody who was in chat in the beginning, if you hung out this far. Here's the rules. In order to get this giveaway, let me show you what you're getting. First, you're getting from me, from Mr. Pi the Artist, Pi Manga Artist on Instagram. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, a, oh, let me put me on the layout here. <laughs> These are the gifts you guys will be winning if your name is drawn out of the bucket. 
you will get a special custom sticker from me here. You will get a um, $100 bill. You will get from Mr. Curtis Schultz the two Halloween movie franchises, 1978 and, oops, excuse me, 2018, as well as a perfect flick for funniness is Saturday the 14th. <laughs> and you will get a NECA Jason, or yeah, Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees. Nice. Perfect. Nice. You will get this right here. And from Mr. Raw Talk, Raw Talk Real Deal, you will be getting this Dracula comic book right here. Oh, that's, that's a nice one. Oh, real nice. Yeah. You will also be getting, now I don't know what this is, Raw Talk. If you want, it, I, I left it in the package sealed, but you can get, you're getting this package from Mr. Raw Talk from Toy Fink Colt right here. Mm -hmm. And not to be saying anything about everybody else's. Uh, gifts that they that they set up, but this is the most important. I almost want to I almost want to take a picture of this and print it and give them the print and then keep this one. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask you uh, too many. Did you get a print print of your uh, art piece? Did you? I didn't. No. See, uh, that's like one of one. That's I got one. some good pictures. I got some high res pics. Oh, that's a one of one. Yes. Oh, oh, oh shit. That, that's see that's 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 that's, that's from the heart right there. Hell that yeah. is fucking beautiful. So I really, really, really like this, but it's on a canvas, very nice. And before it gets shipped out, I will put it into a uh frame. And then uh too many did really good with packaging it. No wrinkles, no nothing because he put the cardboard on top of that. Yeah. But so whoever wins this will be getting it and it'll be um already done. So all you have to do is hang it on the wall. You I know I love that. That's, that's tight, man. Yeah, very cool. Hell and yeah, he, hell yeah. And he cleaned it. He, he said he was going to clean it up really well. So when, when he finished on the live stream with us, uh, he said he's going to clean it up a little bit, add some little bit more deals. So I could tell, I could tell yeah. fucking awesome. So that's what you guys will be getting in the giveaway. Now here's the rules for the giveaway. You must be present to win from right here on everybody in chat's name will be entered. I've got everybody right now. Oops, just dropped uh, somebody. I'll pick them up. All these names right here, I will be putting, I will be folding them up, them up, and I will be putting them into this bucket right here. And my lovely assistant will be uh, drawing the name out of the hat. Okay, and uh, look how beautiful he is. Ah. <laughs> and okay, now here's the thing: if your if your name goes into the hat because you were one uh, 58 minutes ago, you came into chat to say hi. If you're still here, cool. But if I pull your name out of the hat, you have 60 seconds to say something in chat. If you say something in chat, you win. If 60 seconds goes by and you don't say anything in chat, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have my lovely assistant pull another name. That keeps it with whoever's here now, right? So also, um, another name will be drawn. I will, I will do this until a winner has been confirmed. Then, of course, if you're comfortable, I'll need your address, your email, and your cell phone number so that I can keep communication with when I when I shipped it tracking and I literally will ship it after I get the box probably like Tuesday or Wednesday and you should have it within five, six days, depending on where you're at. Um, anyway, so that is the rules for the giveaway. So I hope everybody understands that. Robert Francois, uh, we will put your name down. It's OK, Robert. Your name will go down. Um, old school, Lone Dragon, Rob 78, Rob Bednarski, Criminal Element. Um, and everybody is going to be watching uh, for whose name to write down if I miss somebody. So I'm going to do I'm going to set my alarm right now for 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, I'm going to do the drawing. Okay, so let me set my alarm. Stopwatch. Oop, no, wait. It'd be timer for 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, little dragon, damn. Well, well, no, damn. Say, what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> what if I don't want to get you? In my, I know. I already got your number. I got your address, too, Lone. <laughs> I know. I know, Lone. I, I got a camera at Lone's house. He don't even know it. <laughs> Lone is wild. <laughs> Six five four three two one zero. Okay, setting the timer and start. We got a timer set for thirty minutes. That's when we will do the giveaway. So I'm going to start while you guys are talking about the next topic was <clears throat> zombie. favorite zombie movie of all time. Your honorable second place. Your honorable third place. Place. Uh, talk about it as much as you want and keep going with it. Curtis, you're up. Well, my. Uh... Favorite zombie movie is Porky's Two the Next Day. Monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you ever seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But no. uh, my my kind of wanted to go last, but my favorite um, zombie movie is probably. It's hard. It's so hard, man. 
Um, that's what she said, right? I had to throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I like I like all the Romero movies, all of them. I like I like okay, I like um, 1990 Night of the Living Dead remake. Ooh. That one was good too. That one was really good. Yeah. A lot of people don't know about it for some reason. Yeah. My second honorable mention is probably uh, Zombieland. And oh, damn, I'll put another funny one in there, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot. There's so many of them that are so good. Uh, yeah. uh, I could go name them, but I don't want to. Everybody's got to name something, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll get named. Cool. New, new Soundwave, your top three, bro. Uh, I'm going to actually take this one and pass it on to Susan. Susan! She's uh, much bigger on the uh, zombie Four. stuff. So. Four. <laughs> I'm gonna say Night of the Living Dead, the black and white one. Nice. Return of the Living Dead. Yes. <laughs> and Land of the Dead. Yeah. Good zombies. Good zombies. Uh, Raw top. Ooh. All right. Um. She said. She said one of the ones that, that I like, but uh. I'll go with Romero's Day of the Dead when it was on the, uh, <clears throat> the army base with the silo and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's a good um, one. Then, um, what is it? Uh, Burial Ground. That's when that's the, the farm flick one. That's um, and then um, zombies actually the one would take place on an island and stuff. So those I just watched it. Yeah, yeah. I like those movies. I, I like all of the foreign zombie movies because they're just, it's overdubbed, but shit is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, too many and Maggie? Uh, my number one, well, yeah, my number one would be the Romero Dawn of the Dead. Um, my number two, uh, this movie called Pontypool, which was really fucking cool. You don't ever see any zombies in it. He's, they're in a radio station and the zombie apocalypse is popping off. And you just you deal with them. It's just like this guy and his radio crew, and it's it's a fucking amazing movie. And then um, probably Shaun of the Dead, just to throw some comedy in there, would be yeah. my third one. Okay, Maggie, do you have a favorite Maggie. zombie movie? Um, I'm embarrassed to say <laughs> that I don't think I've ever seen a single zombie movie before. Um, I did not grow up in a family that watched movies like at all, so I really did not start watching movies to any extent until we started dating so i have like always feel like i even though i feel like i've watched so many movies well we watched together, the whole walking dead we have watched walking dead so that's yeah but i um feel like i have like three million movies to catch up on at all times <laughs> but yeah i've loved the walking dead and i've since this question came up and i saw your list uh earlier this week i was like Oh, like I'd love to watch zombie movies because I love like I love The Walking Dead so much. So I'm like, yeah, we need to get on that. But yeah, yeah, that's and, cool. Uh, it's cool. Real quick shout out to Lone Dragon because he mentioned Fido, which is another one of my favorites. Fido, oh, oh yeah, Train to Busan that's is a awesome great as well. movie. Uh -huh. yeah. That is a really well written movie. I so I I didn't watch Fido, but I know it's the the guy who's like a zombie that's a pet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I saw the, uh, I don't know if Netflix put that out or whatever, but I thought that was that was kind of a cool concept. You got a fucking zombie for a fucking, was it the dad or some shit? Like the brother or how, why did they keep him? I can't remember who he was to her. But yeah. Yeah. It it's was, been, I ain't seen it since like 2010. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Old school. What about Jason? Days. What about Jason? Oh yeah. I'm so sorry. It's <laughs> It's funny how you guys are, are saying about all the George Romero movies and stuff like that. I went to the school that the guy did the effects for all those zombie movies, Tom Savini. I went oh, yeah. to his school. I got his autograph. I met cool. him. Yeah. So, I mean, I learned. I mean, he was telling us all the ins and outs of the whole movie. And it's funny how you were talking about the whole uh, uh, Day of the Dead thing when the guys are in the caves yeah. with the army. Yeah. Remember when the guy, remember when the guy like loses intestines, flops off? Yeah. The <laughs> they they use real pig intestines in that movie. Uh, wow. 
And what happened was it was spoiled because they had electricity going down there in those caves and they stuck in a refrigerator to keep it cool down so it didn't spoil. Mm -hmm. Power ran out and so it got spoiled. So they had to use it. And it stunk up the whole set. Hell, <laughs> people got sick. Uh, oh, damn, it was rank. Okay, you were telling us the story. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, hey, so, oh. story, man. But with the actors and actresses in that scene, I wonder if they're in their their whole head. They got a well, <laughs> but they still <laughs> yeah, got to do right. their line. Like what the fuck? Yeah. So I basically like you know I like all that like Night Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Yeah. I like all those ones. Yep. The whole Romero. So. Cool. Yeah, me too. Cool. Okay, I do gotta say a, a shout out to uh, uh, Train to Busan. Yeah, okay. that's a Good great. One. He's an honorable yeah. mention. Video dead. Video dead too. Video oh, dead. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Video, Video dead. dead. Yeah. That hey, I crap out of me as a young <laughs> coming out the TVs and shit. I'm like, what? The yeah. <laughs> got to put the mirror over the TV when you go to bed. Yeah. Hey, what was that? Uh, what was that one zombie movie where uh, old dude was in an airplane and he basically turned himself back human or showed that zombies had a brain or some shit? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, warm hearts, yeah. warm bodies. Yeah, warm, warm hearts. Heart. Yeah. Yeah. Warm body. A, I actually like that movie. Yeah, yeah, me too. I like the kid that's in it uh, and the girl that's in it too. She's in uh, the werewolf movie or some shit. She's in another. She's in a couple uh little like uh series flicks or whatever but i liked her uh i thought that movie was i had pretty good uh uh shit uh the storyline was good yeah absolutely it, but it is kind of a chick flick but you're like yeah but it's zombies how, how much of a chick yeah. can it be right yeah. um my favorite zombie movies are fucking where are they at um <clears throat> zombie land world war z and land of the dead with john leguizamo yeah okay. yeah yeah, yeah. I, so I, I watched all three of these already in the last two weeks. And out of the, the three, the, my top one that I go to when I'm like, I'm going to fuck chill and watch a uh, zombie movie is World War Z. That Brad. That's Brad one of my favorites, yeah. Uh, it, it's just really good. And there's so many of the other ones that like the black and white ones. And zombie it's even movies. a better book. It, is it a book? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's I, comic, right? They're making a novel. It it's a right novel. Now. Yeah. Oh, God, dude. Graph novel. Yeah. Um, and did See, you know... Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, go no, ahead. no, 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 no. You go ahead, bro. So in Zombieland is my second favorite. Along with Land of the Dead, they're like, everything's right here with those three movies. But Zombieland, because Woody Harrelson's fuck fire, he's gangster in that movie. And did you know that 406 from Apartment 406, the girl, do you know who she is? 406. 406 was in the beginning intro, the first 15 minutes. And she's in the, she comes and she's like, somebody chased me and I got bit. And then all of a sudden she wakes up and he wakes up and he's running around her, his own apartment. You know who that is? Sure. Amber fucking heard, bro. Amber heard. Yeah. I was like, I did not know that. And she, I, I always thought she was hella hot, not Amber heard, but the number uh, 406 from a part, hella hot. And then I was watching, I, I did ID and B. I was like, who's that bitch? Fucking Amber heard. And I was like, damn. Way before, because this is 2009 when they did uh, uh, Zombieland. 2009, mm -hmm. it's been so long. And then 2018 or 19, Curtis, we were talking about the other night yeah. where they did Zombieland Double Tap, right? Right. Cool. And then Land of the Dead, John Leguizamo movie, because I love John Leguizamo. That kid <laughs> is just great to me. I think he's one of the best fucking, fucking clown, clown spawns ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, you he see just, him in the past? <laughs> yeah, the past. Dude. Yeah, that was, that was funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Razzy O'Kane? If you stick around, your name will be drawn, maybe, man. I'm going to put you down, Raz. Raz Kane. Um, boom. And and then, so that's my, my take on those. So just to, for film content or uh, more content was uh, types of zombies. There's fast ones, slow ones, dumb ones, smart ones, wicked as fuck ones. Uh, I'm kind of, if there was a zombie apocalypse, I'll take a slow zombie all day long i don't want to fuck with these other motherfuckers yeah, 28 right. days later uh fucking shit uh curtis what do you think what, what what do you think about is there any any addition to a type of zombie um i of course would like slow zombies but i dig the fast zombies but my logic is the only way they'd be able to be fast is if, if they just died mm -hmm. yeah that's the way i think about the zombies but you know <laughs> Yeah, there's um, I I I definitely rather deal with slower ones. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, too many? My thing would be just a, in general a horde, like any large group of fucking zombies. You know what I'm saying? Slow or fast, but scarier if they're slow. But just being that it's oh, a, a large group that you just can't stop. You know, if you got one in the room, you can lock his head off. But if you got like 50 or 60 outside your bedroom and, you know, you have yeah. one door, you're fucked. You know, and yeah. it's even worse when it's slow. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Raw? Uh, well, I've been keeping up with The Walking Dead. And with the last three episodes that they got. Oh, yeah. I mean... It, not for nothing. I like the whole series, man. It's just a testament of how you watch it and you know what's going down, man. It's just yep. people are surviving. And those damn zombies, man, they're getting smarter. So a smart zombie, I'm not trying to fuck with. I got to take you out real quick. <laughs> you know, it's like Land of the Dead. They did that one, started getting smart. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, when they become smart, you got to get rid of them. You know? So yeah. that, that's the only one. They can be fast, they can be slow, but if they're smart, fast and slow don't matter because they, they can start to think. Jason? Uh, I, would, I would go with slow. <laughs> Everybody wants to. Definitely because I'm, I'm way against, I'm, I'm against those the 28 Days Later and oh, okay. his, his movie, World War Z. I can't stand that movie. Mm-hmm. I think it's horrible. <laughs> I hate <laughs> Donald no, I hate zombies, ah. dude. They, they think they're like freaking Superman, dude. They're like hella fast. That's bullshit. Mm. These guys are dead. Right. They're you riding. Know, the difference, that's zombies. They're they're dead. They're going to be slow. They, yeah, that's why I was saying. like Rigor mortis, right? Yeah, they yeah. have to just be freshly dead. Maybe they might go that, you know, half that fast or something. No, like. World War Z, these fuckers are fast. Yeah, these things are like. They're like cheetahs, man. They yeah. climb. They're, they're not yeah. technically yeah. zombies in that movie, right? Aren't they like just like infected humans? Like, and like ra- even ra- twenty eight days later, I think yeah. it was just rage that they had. They didn't. Yeah, they it was like, like having dead. rabies or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or like I am legend. Small. I am legend. Wouldn't they be classified as vampires? Infected, like zombies yeah. infected, but they still. I thought smart. they were vampires. Yeah, that too. They're smart. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like. Hey, my, my question is, is uh, you know how out in the country they always say if you take and chop the head off a snake, put snake onto the fence, it keep all the other snakes away. So what if you take a zombie, chop its head off, and lay its body over your fence or something? Does it keep the rest <laughs> of the zombies away? Hey, they do that in Land of the Land of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, the one that, the, one of my favorites. They do that, and they're the, all the zombies come to this certain point where they have to break through this um, plywood wall and shit. So – they break through and they see all the fucking hanging zombies and they just like get all mad and they keep going. Didn't keep them away. Well, like a scarecrow. See, yeah. I, I, I make the fence all the way around my house, have one area open and just have zombies laid up right there. Mm-mm. Keep them all the way. Walking okay. Dead did that with the yeah, heads of the, uh, the people. Yeah, that was creepy. Yeah. 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 That was creepy. I, that was sad too. <laughs> like dang the skinwalkers or yeah, the, not the skinwalker uh, oh. the alpha alpha whispers. Did. they call them whispers yeah. whispers yeah whispers exactly uh old school says you'd be able to smell them a mile away so yeah. that's absolutely true and, and because he put it into that perspective i'm i'm with him on that so all the black and white films that came out zombie when they first came out um they were slow none of them were fast how did motherfuckers die I mean, not not zombies, but how did how would I die if every motherfucker is that slow as shit and going? Uh, I heard. I heard. But just like yeah, just like <laughs> too, too many said the the, the herd, the group, yeah. Yeah. they yeah. will overwhelm you in numbers. Hey, yeah. Tristan made a good you point. Will come on your back. You're like, oh fuck it. Man. Well, what Tristan, up, Tristan? Go ahead. so many people are mentioning all these zombie movies, but no one has mentioned Resident Evil yet. Mm. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Resident Evil because wh- who that is what's her name? Uh Be- Beckinsale. Mina? Kate Beckinsale? Mina, uh, no, Mila. Mila. Oh, no, no. Mila. 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 Um the blonde chick. The blonde chick. Yeah. She's Russian European. Or? Russian. Yeah. What's his name? What's her name, Tr- Tristan? It's Mila. Um, Mila. Mila Djokovic. Djokovic. Yeah, Mila Djokovic. Djokovic. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, I am definitely one for that Resident Evil. I, I liked it. They kind of fell after fell suit after Doom. Is that correct? Was that? Like, 
It Doom was, came it was, first, yeah. And it then there was because it, it's all PC shit, and that's where it derived from. Oh, right? you mean the games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But with, with the Resident Evil, it they morph into like creatures, creatures rather than yeah. zombies. Yeah. They they become superhuman type creatures, and yeah, they're all experiments. Yeah, yeah, experiments. So that so you can put them in a zombie at first, but then they evolve. Yeah. You know. So. Well. Our- I mean, honestly, isn't a uh, zombie a experiment? <laughs> well, yeah, they all they all derive from chemical experiments or something like that. But these guys were actually making these zombies, like these right. big, humongous creatures and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, we got uh, a true live zombie today. Yeah, bath salts and shit. Um, yeah. No, uh, Biden. <laughs> hey, Biden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's talking to people that aren't there. He's walking. <laughs> He's doing all sorts. Of He's calling Mr. President. <laughs> Trying to shake shake somebody's yeah. hands. I'm not even there. Yeah. Boy Scout Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse is funny, but it's cool. Oh, well, here. Tell them. Uh, Boy Scout Guide to the oh, Zombie Oh, that's a good. That's funny. That's a funny movie. I like that. The Boy Scout the Killing Zombies or something. Oh, uh, okay. Nah, zombie strippers is funnier. <laughs> 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 Who's it, hey. Jack Yeah, that was cool. Shout out to Zombieland for Abraham zombie Lincoln versus zombies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the zombie stripper and zombies. Yeah, the zombie stripper in Zombieland's intro when they're doing Hell's Bells or when, awesome. the bell, when the bell tolls. That's yeah. fucking epic. Yeah. Who, Diamond says Jill Valentine. Who's Who's Jill Valentine? She's a. Uh... One of the other main characters in Resident Evil. Okay, DFS agrees. And uh, oh, um, you Soundwave, did you want to answer that question with the uh, what type of zombies you, you'd want to do? Uh, with? That's a- uh, I, I'd fur all slow. Okay. What about the ladies? What do you prefer? Slow. Zombie types. Oh, Tristan said he wants fast. That way, he... it's over with. Yeah, drill and rush out of it. Hey, I think I think Raw Talk said shout out Tristan for that because I think Raw Talk said the same thing. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna let him bite me, and I'm gonna <laughs> fucking hang with the zombies and be like fuck it. If I'm going, hey, everybody's going anyway. I mean, come on, give me a little bite. But I don't. So the zombies get to bite some people and they become zombies. But some people they they tear out there just five of them on one. Yeah, yeah that's my big question too, what, man. What happens to them? Do they get to? Yeah. Um, <laughs> do they still get to walk around? Or I, I never got that. They'll be disabled zombies. <laughs> well, hell, what about uh, the people that take and dress up and make themselves look like a zombie and really not? Uh, like old dude. Uh, yeah, Bill Murray. Yeah, Bill Murray. He's like. Same, <laughs> oh, yeah. the same as the uh from Walking Dead, yeah. The whisper, same yeah. thing, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. But then, then the idea of having a heartbeat and they can, I don't know, it's weird. Oh, I mean, Bill Murray's so fucking old, you know, he barely got a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. But that's what you yeah. can't overthink it because, like, even zombies, like, if you say, like, they can't be fast, like, they still they can't see, <laughs> they can't be able to see or smell. Their yeah. muscles should have no fuck. If you have no heartbeat, your muscles. Are so yeah. even slow zombies don't make sense, you know. Yeah, or smart zombies. Yeah, right. Yeah. The brain is supposed to be dead by that yeah, point. Yeah. Hey, Lone Dragon, DFS's dick is a zombie, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, rigor mortis like a motherfucker. <laughs> it smells of death. <laughs> Scout's guide to surviving the zombie apocalypse is that that is that a funny flick? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, supposed, yeah, yeah. yeah. supposed to be. funny. That that that's what we were talking about. I there was a show with Drew Barrymore. Uh, what was that one called? Was she? Well, oh, that was a Netflix show. That right? was good. Wasn't that some weird that was shit? pretty good. Yeah. Like she was a zombie, but she was like. They would feed her like meat, and like she try to like kind of maintain her life. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she was. Hey, you know what? Uh, with this day and age, all right, being that you know guys are being called him and he, and women are called her and she. What would you call a zombie? And 
can I can I classify myself as a zombie and just? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I believe so. You could do that. If people yeah. could do become animals and shit now. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Fuck it. I'm a zombie. The Lord I, 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 to me. <laughs> I identify as a zombie. Yo, man, I'm gonna tell you what. If I'm walking around in the mall store, or wherever, and I see this damn kid walking around or on his hands and knees, acting to be a dog or something, I'm gonna kick that son of a bitch in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Next week's episode, we're gonna talk about Bro. being part of the furry community. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got. I, I actually got a good story for that. One of the guys from work. This son of a bitch has a pet miniature horse. And he sleeps in the bed with this horse. Oh, oh and he, the fucker brings him to work, and will not let no one touch his horse. This is like a mini horse. Yes, <laughs> and this motherfucker brings him everywhere, bro. Everywhere. My my daughter, my wife, <laughs> my wife set my daughter up for her like ninth birthday with a with a horse that came over, a, a real horse, and then a mini horse. I had that mini horse in my house. I was walking it to the fridge. I gave it carrot, whatever we had. <laughs> and, hey, and people are like, Does, he's taking the horse in the house. You know that, right? And I was like, it, she was like, whatever. I love me. I, that would be me all day long. If I had a mini horse, bro, I'd be like, <laughs> oh, man, that'd be so cool. Yeah, but see, like, we watched YouTube, TV, movies. What This cat, he watches furry porn oh. and, like, these furry cartoons or whatever. Oh, I guess God. there's a good uh, Netflix movie. It's <laughs> funny as hell. It's called Potterville, and it's got a bunch of actors that you'll recognize in it. it it's it's hilarious, and it's basically about a guy catches his wife cheating with the sheriff, and they're doing they're just doing the furry thing, but they're not having sex, but they're doing the furry thing in the bedroom. And uh, so he gets drunk, and he ends up putting this Bigfoot costume on and he runs through in the middle of the night all drunk <laughs> everybody thinks there's bigfoot there and like all these news people come in and this shit's hilarious <laughs> damn this shit's hilarious yes yes uh Ro robert francois said didn't that chick give birth to a zombie in that remade dawn of the dead yeah yes and, um, yeah. She did bit, yeah. and I, I really like i like that concept um yeah the the baby acquired the virus from the bite that the mom had and that whole giving birth scene was pretty yeah. fucking badass. And and the dude with the gun was like trying to protect the family still. And that, yeah. that old lady came in and fucking shot him. Oh man. <laughs> or shot her right through the fucking eye, bro. Yeah. That's I, that's a epic. I love that. Hell yeah. That's crazy. Hell yeah. 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 Diamonds. My neighbor, my neighbor, her nephew thinks he's a monkey. <laughs> that, is that Jason? Oh, is that Jason for No. Oh. Yeah, Jason and Texas Chainsaw. Oh, let me see. Leatherface. Oh, Leatherface. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Hey, uh, Tristan, do you know Fatalities? Are you that good yet? Uh, I know all of them. Fuck yes. Oh, what is Jason? Lady Leatherface. That's tight. Hey, I, I, I know, I'm the guy that will keep hitting you with the same move and, and take you down. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wouldn't put it past you, Kurt. You <laughs> I hate that shit. I'm like, I'm like, so what? I won, motherfucker. You. Hey, the funniest thing is, is watching this kid play. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? He gets into it. Hey. Hell yeah. yeah. Keep the balance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the fatality. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't do it yet. Oh, shit. Uh... All right. Fatality. Sick. <laughs> Fuck you, Chainsaw. God damn. God damn. Sick. <laughs> oh, damn. I got that guy. Happy Halloween, fuckers! <laughs> yeah. Hey, is that um, is that Xbox or three? What is it? Uh, what is that? Xbox One. One S. Mm. That's this one, right? XL. XL, yeah. Is it XL or X? I think it's XL. No, the game. XL. Is XL? Is yeah, XL. Okay. Yeah, it's tight. 
<laughs> yeah, Razo. Yeah, so, we had to remember our fatalities. Yep, yep. Do you guys go go to the haunted houses and stuff during the season? Walk the walk, dude. Through? I mean, honestly, I want to go to the haunted houses, but the haunted houses out here are fifty to eighty dollars a person. Fuck that. Fuck that. Are they that much? Hell yeah. They charge 50 bucks, and then if you want, like, really? front of the line, you pay another 20 bucks, so it's like 70 mm-hmm. bucks. Yeah. And, I mean, the sad part, well, like, there's one out here that's uh, supposed to be one of the best ones in North Carolina. Mm. They got three attractions to do each one. is 50, no, 60 hours per person for each attraction. That, I mean, that's $120, dollars hundred. Eighty dollars easy mm-hmm. per person. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, I got three of them. Got everybody. In the summertime, we have one that uh, that uh, you pay twenty bucks and you get to camp overnight. Yeah. And, and stuff starts happening about like anywhere between one and three o'clock in the morning, and then you're up most of the night because you're running. <laughs> this shit's fucking awesome. <laughs> well, see, I plan on next year for Halloween. I want to take all of us and go up to a devil stomping ground and mm-hmm. camp out. Shit. Yeah. I um I, I would do that. Nah, hell no. I'll be back. I, I won't do the the Halloween uh shit where you're walking through and the, the people are like uh role playing and they come real close to you and they touch you. I don't like that. Like don't touch me. You could stay back like twenty five feet and do your do your acting over there, but don't act like you're gonna fucking stab me with a knife, like err and grab me and make me part of the show. I just, I, I, I personally don't like that being a touch thing. And I've been to, been to a, um, one before, and the guy got close, and I didn't like start a fight or nothing. I was like, don't, don't fucking come at me, bro. And he, he did back off, but I was like, don't, don't do that. And yeah. like my kids and my kids were like seven and shit. I'm like, don't touch my, kids. don't get, don't get close, bro. Do your thing, but keep your distance. I'm, I, I couldn't get into the. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't get into the partiness of it. You know, I was kind of, maybe I wasn't drinking. If I was drinking, maybe smoke a joint. Maybe I could be like, oh, have fun with it. Yeah. For, oh, you got me. You know, but I don't know. There's some fucking freaks out there, you know, doing that shit. You don't know who's touching you. You don't know who's coming close to you. Yeah. That's right. me. That's me, man. Well, and well, see, the last time I went to a, a haunted house, it was me, my stepdad, and my mom. My mom had an asthma problem, so she didn't go through. So it was me and my stepdad. Now, remind you, I'm five foot nine, 200 pounds. My stepdad's six, three, six, four. He's a big dude. But uh, we had some cats that stand behind us, look like fucking huge ass football players. Mm. We're walking through this damn maze, whatever. These cats literally grab hold of us and beg us to help them through. Protect them, whatever. <laughs> Me and my stepdad look at each other and laugh our asses off. I'm like, come on, dude. You are that fucking big and you begging for protection? Stop. Shit. I mean, we walked through just laughing our asses off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Yummy. Some of those do get scary. You, you got to tell yourself, like, this is not real. Like, they're, yeah. they're not going to hurt you for real. Like, yeah. <laughs> come on. I would, there's I would, a haunted house, though. There's a haunted would, house that you have to sign a waiver. And mm-hmm. it's $100, and it's 13 floors. If you make it all the way to the top floor, you get the $100 back. But these people, they can grab you. Mm. It's pretty. It's pretty scary shit. Like grab you as in they can try to hurt you or no, just they grab, grab you. They grab you and that's it. You're you're done. It's over. Oh, I'm done. Okay. I, I'm down. Like playing an elaborate game with tag or something like. Yeah, that. you're basically running away from these people. Okay. Mm. What's oh, so they grab you. You're done. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there it is. So, who's that? That's the alarm for the giveaway. That's the giveaway alarm right there. So, did anybody come up with any names that uh, maybe I missed? I know that. Should I, I'm going to dump them out and read them? Yeah, yeah I was going to say you should. All right. All dumped out. We got Raziel Kane, Lone Dragon, MCDJ, ACDC, Frank Sire, Zach, Zachary Seamus, uh, Big M. We got. Old school. We got Ralph Bednarski. We got Hi Baby. Uh, TKD Bar. What are you doing? 
Nothing. You want to say hi to everybody? Uh, hey. hey. Maisie said hey. Uh, well, hey. We got Kid Grip. We got Diamonds. I'm pulling for you, Diamonds, actually, because you're here every fucking show, bro. Uh, Simple Eddie. Simple Eddie's here, too. Uh, we got Robert Francois. We got... Oh, shit. How that? What is that? Oh, DFS, DFS. <laughs> and uh, Criminal Element. Did I miss anybody, you think? Lone Dragon. Mm-hmm. Got Lone Dragon. Okay. Got Diamonds. Uh, right? Razzle King reviews. Raziel Kane, he's the first one I pulled. I think. Okay. Cool, cool. I think we're all, I think we're caught up on there. Ralph Bednarski's still here. Excellent. All right. So everybody in chat, this is the rule. Um, did you get Rob seventy eight? I got yeah, Rob seventy eight. Did I Rob seventy eight? Did not get Rob seventy eight. Rob, simple, so sorry, simple Rob. Custom. Simple customs is that. Simple Eddie got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Maisie Zach, Zach said, "Hey, hey, she's gone. She's gone. She left." <laughs> Rob seventy eight. <laughs> Boom. Sorry, sir. All right, and uh, and Simple Eddie's still here. All right, and one thing that Curtis and I were talking about, we were like, let's keep him guessing for a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put another five minutes on the top <laughs> 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 All right, let's see. Timer. How do let's I get kick him in the leg a little bit? <laughs> oh, is it cancel? Okay, let's see. Cancel. So smart, bro. Five minutes on the timer, everybody. There we go, man. And starting now. There we go. The new timer has started at five minutes. <laughs> Just right, give, give us, give us five minutes of uh, some Tom Savini shit, because this guy is amazing. Give us a good story. Just one good story. Yeah. He's a fucking whore. (laughs) Who is? (laughs) Tom Savini. Tom Savini. He he likes to get chicks at the conventions that he goes. And he takes them and (laughs) messes around with them. He messes around with a lot of his students, too, at at his school, too. Really? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, shout out Tom Savini. Does he know what he's talking about? Because Tom Savini's like, hey, what are you talking about, man? You're totally <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'm in the house, man. Vietnam, what are you well, talking about? Sex machine? Yeah, sex machine. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. Dust till dawn. Oh, shit. 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 That's Tom Savini. Yeah. Yeah. He's been in like everything. Yeah. yeah he always has little appearance. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he went to Vietnam, right? Not, yeah, that motherfucker, he's a vampire, though. Yeah, he's like, he he's like eight years old. He looks like he's like forty. Tom yeah. Savini. I'm gonna look, look up Tom. Savini. Look at his look at his picture. I will. I will. Right Do they now. have a lot of like movie stuff in his studio? Like stuff. Yeah, yeah. He uh, yeah. he had, he had, he had a lot of the older stuff in his. He had Fluffy. I don't know if you remember. You know who? Oh, Fluffy hell yeah, the Crate Monster. Yeah, he yeah. He, he had Fluffy there. <laughs> oh, um, I bet he, he. We can get him to staff on one of these shows next year. He had. Oh, I, I was trying to. He has uh, Lizzie. Remember Lizzie? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. He had Lizzie in there. It's all deteriorating, though. Yeah. But he had Lizzie. He had Jason in there because he did mm-hmm. Jason. I did not know. Yeah. He looks like a like a womanizer, huh? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Oh, he yeah, would dig this show because he we'd be talking about boobs and all that stuff. Oh, he would love it. <laughs> yeah. Tom Savini. Dude, he, he yeah. would love you too, dude. He gets high all the time. Does he really? Yeah. <laughs> Does he live out there? Yeah, he lives in Pittsburgh. No, not here. He lives in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why he's always in Detroit every year. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to uh, uh he's gonna be the, the one that's coming up, Stillcon. Mm-hmm. That's over there by Pittsburgh. Hmm. Nice. What 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 part did he play in? What did Tom Savini play in the movie uh, uh, Dust Till Dawn? Who Sex was he? Machine. Sex Machine. Sex Machine. Yep. He's the yeah. one that they. He's in the bar and his pistol pops up and shoots yeah. the vampire. Oh, 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 okay. There's another movie where that where that pistol thing pops up again. I forget. It was a recent. Uh, Desperado movie. or. Um... Yeah, Desperado. Has, there's one in Desperado. Hey, Desperado is a great movie, man. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Another movie. One. Oh, I want to. I'm gonna tell you though, Selma Shout Hayek. Out to Selma, Selma Hayek is hot. Selma Hayek, huh? Selma Hayek is hot. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, there's a movie where the chick had one too. There he goes. <laughs> Casual. Selma Hayek. What about Destiny? Destiny Marie? Well, you guys are late. You you are so lucky. You got 
One yeah. minute and 55 seconds. Destiny Marie, you're in on this. Diamonds. <laughs> Kids is just creeping in now. We gave him the extra five minutes. I know, right? But that's okay. <laughs> that's like that's okay. That's okay. That's funny. Uh casual, how you doing, man? You he said boy or girl. What do you mean? Uh Destiny, excuse me. Hello. What up, Destiny? What up, Kaz? Yo, oh, yo, what's up? DFS said you missed the gender reveal, Kaz. <laughs> Stupid. Boy or girl. <laughs> Hey, it's, it's so casual. This guy and I were like on the side mm -hmm. show together. Right? He's my lovely assistant. And uh, yeah. Oh, you met casual. You met casual. Yeah. The first one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he's having a girl, bro. Yeah. My, my, I keep blowing the balls off him. So, you know, <laughs> big M, you, hey, big M, you're here, bro. I got you. Uh, I got you in here, big M. He's good. Don't let, <laughs> don't let him in. <laughs> Hey, okay, so real quick, we got 52 seconds. This is what the uh, prize winnings are, you guys, in the 52 seconds. You got a uh, – let me uh, – just for everybody that might be uh, wanting a recap here, like myself, solo layout. You got your uh, famous uh, – from Pi Manga, Pi uh, Artist uh, rendition of myself. You got a $100 bill. <laughs> you got some really good movies, Saturday the 14th by Curtis Schultz. You got 1978 and 2018 Halloween from Curtis Schultz. You got a NECA figure, NECA figure from fucking Curtis Schultz here. Boom. You got Jason Voorhees. Very, very cool. You got a uh, silent but deadly package from Toy Fiend Colt here, right here. And you also got from Toy Fiend Colt here a Dracula fucking comic book. And you got the best motherfucking painting that was attributed here yeah. by Mr. Too Many Figures, which is David from The Lost Boys, man, Fuck, which he did on our third live stream, uh, third or fourth, fourth right. live stream, The Lost Boys. Uh, and so this is a canvas print, and I'll be putting it in a uh, in a uh, frame for y'all, whoever wins. All right, so hey, rules can are... We, uh, can we take a quick commercial break to go use the bathroom and stuff yes quick commercial break <laughs> and then we're doing the drawing yes absolutely here it comes let me kick them while they're down <laughs> hey topic director just jumped in hello oh, and, 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 and uh, instagram oh. trivia has closed for tonight that Did was you a do tough one tonight man hey, oh man raw talk let me let yeah. me all right for the last two weeks i've had my instagram notifications turned off because it wakes my wife up during the night because oh. my phone keeps clicking. So she's like, honey, I love you, but your shit goes off all night long. Your friends are all the way on the East Coast. I, and I was like, right, I get it, babe. So I turned it off and I leave it off. So I miss all the good shit. And then I have to recap and I go on and I'm like, who did I miss? Who did I miss? Oh, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Messages, text, blah, blah, blah. Boom, boom, boom. It sucks. But so I missed your, what was your, what was your, the trip? There's the Curtis Schultz. There's the, tr the commercial break. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, no, but then I'll miss what you're saying. Rock talk. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what was the trivia? The trivia, well, it's closed now, but it was actually The Gates of Hell was the movie. Her, her, oh, and the uh, alternate version was The Land of the... Um, oh, put it back up. It was in 1980 as well. Oh, okay. 1980, The Gates of Hell. Who got it? No one. <laughs> Damn it. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't movie. call it, man. Yeah, yeah. We had some good, good shots, but I just. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Uh, yeah. That's oh, when shit. he was going through the little, uh, the under the uh, cemetery part. You guys ever see the skeleton key? Ooh. Skeleton yeah, who? who That's a that good right? movie, man. It is, yeah. Is that with Johnny Depp? Fuck no, that no, one. it's got a uh, Goldie Hawn's daughters in it. What's oh, her name? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. What's her name? <laughs> it's about the voodoo and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is her name? Oh, I'm gonna fucking find out right now. Watch. I'll be right back. Did you guys watch my movie yet? Yeah, we did. Uh, the set was the second show. Well, I was talking about the other guys. If they knew about it. What movie is that? Apparition. It's a movie I did the effects for. 
I do special effects makeup for movies. Oh, okay. Have we seen that? No, I don't. I don't think so. I'll have to check it out. Have you uh, been keeping up with me here? No. All right, it's drawing time. Oops. Oh shit! I haven't watched the last. Oh, who jumped out? Who who did we jump? Did nobody jump out? Boom! Oh, Rod Talk still here. Some sound wave. Curtis, cool, cool. Come in. Uh, Kate Hudson, yes, yes. <laughs> um, Kate, Hed, she's super cute too. I like Kate Ashley Hudson. She's got a flat butt, but a nice butt. Oh, I was thinking of another one. She, she has a, a flat butt. Yeah, Kate Hudson. Yes, yeah, so, you know, you know, flat butts sometimes are cute. She has a cute flat butt. Oh, let me see Kate Hudson's butt pics. Here we go. I was thinking of Ashley. <laughs> Kate Hudson butt pics. I don't know either. Um. Let's see here. Let me be the judge of this flatness here. Is it like her? <laughs> uh, where's she at? Oop, now, is it like a flat? Is it uh, a phone book flat, or is it? No, uh, no, no. It's just like it's it's very humble. A wall flat. <laughs> <laughs> a mud flap. We'll call her mud flap. Yeah. Mud flap Hudson. That's what we named her in school. And she's like, dude, nothing's coming up, man. Yeah. Oh, that's but her face, look at her face though. She's man, she's got that Goldie Hawn. Yeah, she got the yeah. best right there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so like in uh Overboard, the boys say uh she may she she might not have any tits, but she got a great ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Goldie Hawn took all the butt. She, she looks hot. Yeah. yeah. She's in smile. Great. Smile. Pancake. Uh, pancake butt says diamonds. All right, so we're all here. Wait, I'm going to wait for Raw Talk to come back, and then we'll fucking do the drawing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, man, and then I'm going to go off on how much I love doing the uh, Halloween bangers with you guys, and then we'll, yeah. um, then we'll call it a stop for the night, and then we'll fucking uh, – I'll do an open invite. I know some of you guys got to go because of work and yeah. stuff like that. I think yeah. I'll stay chilling, talking for a couple hours, maybe an hour, maybe half hour. Uh, casual, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, man. But it, it's cool. Like my wife's gone, everybody's gone. It's just me and this guy now. And if I if 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 I don't be with you guys, like he's gonna start putting a move on me and shit. And I'll be like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> not tonight, Jason. All right, not tonight. Profit director says, who doesn't love an upside down heart? Uh, yeah, peach, peaches. Oh, there's raw talk. Okay, raw talk. Are you ready? Definitely. Mm. Everybody's done tangling. All right, so let me mix these up here. Hey, oh, one minute. I gotta go use the bathroom. Yeah, and I got I gotta tell you the story. <laughs> I gotta tell you this 20 minute story real quick. <laughs> Lovely assistant, Mr. Jason. Grab one out, man. Don't say it out loud. Let me read it. And I'm, I, I gotta, I hope, I'm hoping for some, I'm hoping for you, Diamonds. I'm hoping. Bring, and bring. Ralph, Ralph's always here too, man. Bring, bring. All right. This is it right here. That's because mm -hmm. Diamonds are my girl's best friend. Oh. <laughs> She's never here, but Miss Destiny Marie fucking won it. Hey, I'm almost like uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The, Wait, uh, she don't even know the rules. I know she don't. She don't. Destiny Marie has won the. Uh, Let me get my rose. The uh, the get the giveaway. Destiny Marie, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have fun with it. Who would have been? Is she here? First of all. Oh yeah, yeah. You got sixty seconds, Destiny Marie. Uh, actually, yeah. ten seconds went by. So, Destiny Marie, you have sixty forty seconds to comply. Here goes. <laughs> 40 seconds, Destiny Marie. Are you still here? I forgot there about rules. that. Girl. Rules. There are rules in here. Yes, I totally forgot. Okay, rules. Look, we're at he's, 30 he's seconds. got the timer up. He's got the timer up. We're there. at 30 seconds. She said she's here. She got it. Damn, hell yeah. So, Destiny Marie, um, what's up, Michelle James? Uh, you were just that quick. As casual, you're going to be talking with Destiny Marie. So, that's actually pretty cool. Because Destiny Marie, if you could um, bring your winnings over to Casual Toy Collector's channel. Um, and if you could do us a favor, 
bring us up and, and give us a shout out on Casuals Toy Chat uh, when he does it every single night when you get this. Um, please shout out New Soundwave. Please shout out Too Many Figures. Please shout out Raw Talk. Please shout out Curtis, Jason, she and myself. Me as um, man, she, pimp. she can't say Raw Talk. I <laughs> identify as Master Pimp. Yes. <laughs> I, and I think Raw Talk wants you to stay in the kitchen is from what I hear, Destiny. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then uh Destiny, if you could tell um if you tell uh, casual, you're you're still here, so casual. If you could tell her <laughs> when she does bring the winnings over to hit me up with a text, bro, so I could be in and watch because I think that's super cool. Uh really, really uh respected to too many figures for, for doing this drawing. Or, me know you, this Let art, me I mean, this is fantastic. It is on a canvas print. This is one of my favorites. Destiny Marie, you're getting this. And to me, this is like worth a million dollars. You don't even know. So this yeah. really this really hits home with me. I'm glad that you got it. And I'm so sorry that anybody else didn't get it. And um, I know. I'm uh, jealous, man. Raw, raw Talks, uh, or excuse me, the Master Master P's, um Dracula comic book. I hope you, you do well with that. And you get this uh, surprise package from Raw Talk as well. I, I can't wait to see what's in here because I don't know. And then from uh, you got from Curtis this uh, NECA figure here, super cool. Destiny Marie, you're you you actually really lucked out. So that is super cool, you guys. You are welcome, Destiny Marie. And uh, movies, diamonds, diamonds. I was pushing for you, bro. I was pushing. I almost put three diamonds, fucking notes, and I was like. I, would, I, I wish I knew how to predict the future. I would have put some pots and pans in it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You have to show her the uh, movies. Oh, so forgive me. Forgive, oh, they were under the uh, canvas print here. Yes. Yeah. And then I think she saw because they were they were in when they when I when I put them in. But the movies. Okay. 19, I wasn't sure if they were here when they when you did that or not. Yeah, and then uh the Saturday the 14th, which Pro Prophet Director said he thought that was a pretty good movie as well. But yeah. what's up, bro? Excuse well, me, what's up, Bo? It's full of cheese. I gotta see that still. It's on uh it's actually on YouTube for free. Oh, is it? It's good. You are welcome, Destiny Marie. It, it's 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 full of cheese, just to let you know. That's good. I like cheese. <laughs> I like I know, diamonds, damn it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Criminal Elements got an offer for you there, Di uh, Destiny. <laughs> I think that, I think Destiny owes me fifty bucks for calling her name. Yes, or a blowjob. <laughs> Damn, oh, oh, two, Destiny. Oh, it's gonna be a, a, a hot quarter by the time it gets to her. <laughs> More pots and pans. Yeah, I wish I would have put some pots and pans and some spoons and forks. <laughs> cookbook so, instead of Dracula, give her a cookbook. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> So here, um, here, here's here's the thing for the for the end of tonight's show. We man, we did six uh, episodes for season one of Halloween Bangers. Be looking out for us through November, December. We're gonna probably do some Christmas shit. Um, I'd like to do uh, <laughs> shout out to Curtis Schultz for um, saying Krampus, uh, Gremlins, um, all all the all the the really good Christmas movies. Um, Silent not, Night, Deadly Night. We gotta find yeah, this jingle all this. the way. Hell yeah. But we're only going to do like one or two episodes. Yeah. We're not going to go full bore with it. We're just going right. to keep it up until Halloween bangers next season. Um, Raw Talk, you can't. What's up, hey, what's up, Bruce Willis movie that everybody does on yeah, Christmas? Oh, oh, yeah. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. Oh, yeah. uh, my, my wife will say the same thing. She loves that movie. She, we, we watch it every other year. I watch it every year. She Trading, watches places. It. Trading Places. Trading Places. Yep, Trading Places. I count that as a Christmas movie. Yeah. Home Alone. National Home Alone, Alone. National, National Alone. 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 yeah, National, oh yeah, the yeah, Christmas vacation, farm. top top five, yeah. top one is National Lamp. That's my top Christmas one Christmas story. movie. Yep. Yeah. Christmas hey, story Gabby does Dallas. Christmas movie. Christmas movie. Hey, Bo, just for you, I will read your comment out loud. Lo Lavoger Stevenson, Bo says we need to have an ass eating contest. Who would win? <laughs> if you're in, though, why? Hey, you're in, Bo, if you're in, I got a judge for you right here, man. <laughs> hey, he's hey, hey my friend, he's gonna give you a competition, man. That's a shitty situation. <laughs> I will not yeah. partake in. <laughs> no puns intended. No. Oh shit. 
Uh, but if I if I could finish off uh, this show and I'll, I'll keep it running. If you guys want to stay and chill, cool, we'll talk, whatever, and have a good time. But the end of season one, episode six, Halloween bangers. Thank you everybody for making it real. I, I love it, and I, I really appreciate all your your effort that you put in. It's fucking fun, fucking fun. Yeah, um, thanks. Yeah, this is right up my alley, dude. Yeah, I love this shit. Great love conversations. It. Great conversations. Oh, yeah. um, Great. With that. I'm going to go ahead and change the background to this girl. She's, oh, my, shit. she's my fave girl here, man. Let me go back to the comments. I don't know. <laughs> Why do I like Anya Taylor Joy? I don't know. She's I, weird and fucking awesome. She is. I can't wait. So November 12th or 13th is her movie coming out, uh, The Menu. Yeah. And and she did uh, The Witch, V V I T C H. Mm hmm. Um, and she did uh, one a night's town in Busan, or nights uh, a night in a uh, a night in um, uh, oh, where she goes, she goes back in time and through her her mind and the way it works for the hotel that she goes to. I gotta see that one, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty good. Uh, TKD bar later, SA. Hey, we're not leaving, we're still here chilling, bro. I just gotta yeah. change the uh, thing, but yeah, yeah it's just talk. Talk. Yeah, talk. open Anything. open invite if I can. You guys ready for open invite? If anybody wants to come in, let me see if I can do banners, brand invite. Hey, I'm gonna jump off my uh, because this one is I've had it on all day. Cool, bro. Yeah, Mr. Carter. Anyway, cool. Switch over. What do you got going on, Raw Talk? He's watching Mr. Carter. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm gonna switch over because my comp is uh out of battery life. Oh, okay, okay. Train rate. He was doing too much shit. And it echoes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna jump, <laughs> put me on on the other one. All right, bro. Here it comes. Uh, there, there is a open invite, just like Casual Toy Collector does. You guys, um, shout out to him. Anybody want go. to join in and, and chat for a little while? We are up and ready. Yeah. Topic number one. How many beers? How come you guys don't drink? Nobody's drinking. Like, I don't get it. I can't <laughs> I can't not be doing something and, and talking without having a beer. So right now I've got this I motherfucker think. has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. Slow but night. But it's Bud like Light. Personal problem. I know, right? <laughs> But Bud Light's so weak, dude. It, it's like nothing. Here's the profit director. <laughs> profit hey, Raw. How are you tonight? Good. What's What's hey, Raw, are you on your I phone? I just want to say yeah, I'm on my phone. the only way Bo could lose an ass-eating contest was if he had to eat his own ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't rotate? Yeah, don't rotate. Nah, oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, see, if I turn my phone straight up, yeah, Last night in Soho. Yeah. Shit, man. Is your screen locked? Can you uh, can you like unlock the rotation on it? Hold on. Let's see. The last time I tried to flip my camera, it just took me off the show. Mosquitoes coming in, man. Hi, Bo. Oh no, no. We no. we were just there talking. Is. Oh, we up, were just bro? talking about some ass eating, bro. How you doing? What up, Bo? <laughs> yes, we thought you were busy with a nice peach. What's up? <laughs> What's up, bud? Heart. I thought you was getting busy. Yeah. <laughs> Hard dicks and airplanes is up, bro. God damn, this cheap ass falling. Yes. How many of you have actually seen the uh, Saturday the 14th movie? Oh, that movie is hilarious. Yes. yes. Here's the yeah, back yeah. of it. If you want to see it, it's actually on uh, YouTube for free. <laughs> it is quite funny. Yeah, I'm about to see yeah. that. It, it's it's uh, a parody of slasher films, basically. Yeah. Horror, basically. Like, cla it's got classic stuff in it. Got it it's like a 1979 version of T Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Yes. Have you mm. seen the new Monsters movie, dude? Monsters. With Rob Zombie with me? No. -uh. That's fucking horrible, dude. Rob, okay, so he's not a Rob Zombie fan. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's, you know, I have to say, I'm not much of a Rob Zombie fan either. Have you guys seen the new Monsters movie? Yeah. That new Monsters yeah. movie is terrible. Yeah, it sucked. 
It's yep. pretty bad. Wait, it, 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 it might be the worst thing I've ever seen Netflix make. No, the movie Smile was horrible. Oh, well, I haven't yeah. seen that, though. Oh, gosh. Horrible. I'm saying it's the worst thing I've ever actually sat through <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. Netflix has made. There are lots of things worse, but I won't sit through those. Yeah, hey, you yeah. talking about monsters like it just came out or the monsters? Yeah. The monsters. Yes, the monsters. Yeah, Herman, Herman, Herman Monster and Lily Monster. He has his wife playing like Lily Monster. When did it come out? Just uh, recently. I don't know. Yeah. Within the last month or two, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. The makeup oh, they did for Grandpa yeah. wasn't too bad. No, yeah, they, they, they look good. Yeah, but but honestly, horrible. though, I mean, his wife as Lily was terrible. Yes. Yeah. The uh, was act. terrible. Yes. The music was so god awful, I couldn't even sit through it. Even the story <laughs> was off. It was so bad. Yeah, it was horrible. It no so, was it worse than uh, the new Friday 13th? Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. A million yeah. times worse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that, that, it was horrible. Yeah. I got it on Blu-ray. You want to buy it? You <laughs> what? Watch it on Netflix. But but honestly, if you think about it, it, that Friday the 13th reboot, reboot was really was a Friday the 13th on, on, part uh, two reboot. On a D, uh, Blu-ray and stuff, but you mean as hop- soon as I got it, it was on Netflix. Friday. What? <laughs> and then it was horrible. I got something to drink. Always the choice of generations. Yes. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. All right, don't stop. <laughs> I got my beer mug of water. <laughs> yes, I have an iced coffee. Hey, Prophet, are you smoking tonight? Want to do a bomb uh, rip? Three bubbles. I, I, now, I now know that you you don't truly know me the way I thought you did. You you smoke all the time. Uh, you coming in for yeah, a me. single night yeah. that I haven't smoked <laughs> in ah oh god like ten years, maybe more. I got this. This is from Rob seventy eight. Thanks, Rob seventy eight. This is your your Kush right here, there, bro. <laughs> It looks good. It, it it's all good, man. <laughs> um, and I'm I'm a fan of the stuff that doesn't make me super fucking tired and like uh uh makes me stoned. I just like the shit that makes me laugh. This this stuff's pretty good right here. Oh fine. Yeah, so when I smoke, I, I'm either smoking socially or I'm about to go to bed. Mm. Did anybody check what was going on over across the pond with with Emily and her bullshit? What happened? Classified that all uh, the soldiers that came out, the female soldiers and all that stuff. No, uh, I heard uh, two two, two female soldiers, the uh, Big Ben and the the one uh, the jungle guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, that jungle dude. It, I hope to God they do him right. Yeah, but other than that, I don't give two fucks about the rest of them. I mean, hell, the, the two females is that shit just, I don't know, it looks weird. I don't know. The renderers, they're, they're renders. What, what was this on, Ron? Oh, huh? Where, where is this information coming from? From overseas. They had the, uh, something. the London toy. Are you talking about the London, the convention, the toy con in London? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. They made new announcements there. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they did. I haven't seen them yet. I've literally been working all day. So I just got home uh, when I first commented on the stream. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I didn't know there was, uh, I didn't know they mentioned new stuff. What What all did they mention? Well, the two female uh, trooper, they got huge, huge hips and uh, interchangeable parts make them look like a, a, a trooper, an officer, and a sergeant. Mm. And then really? uh, Big so Ben, female Cobra troopers. Yeah, yeah, female Cobra troopers. That's exciting. It is. Yeah, I, they, look, they look shitty. Who, and then uh, 
Big Ben, he just well, looks I don't like know a, if you a, guys a dwarf. remember. There was actually an episode of the animated series where I hooked up yep. with one of those female troopers. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, the that joke. quite pissed off about it, too. <laughs> that jungle guy, the jungle guy, all they do is show his Are card. Are talking about Ricondo? No, uh, from it's a Cobra figure that they just came out with in the in the twenty fifth anniversary. Uh, something, oh. crack, something like that. Bo disappeared again. Wow, I can't think of his name, but pre order at all. No, nothing's up pre order yet. Not yet. All right. But, I guess when we're done here, I'm going to have to watch a video on it or something. But I'm I'm saying they're showing an announcement over there, but didn't they just cancel uh, um things for the UK and in in the European Union or some shit like that over there? But it, they can't get figures over there. Oh hell, we can't get figures here. What are you talking about? True, but they. I mean, hell, start. Matter of fact, Sergeant Slaughter wasn't supposed to come out till next year, and he's already on the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, that seems like the opposite of what you just said. Yeah, <laughs> you said we can't get figures here, and they're all popping up early. Well, I mean, hell, the I mean, uh, the, the Python Patrol figures is very early. I mean, um, the the, the Python twins, Patrol figures we've been waiting a year. Tank, they weren't supposed to be out until next year. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like the Python Patrol figures, they, they were supposed to be out a year ago, and still ain't got them. Canada's got a Most shit ton of them, though. Them. Yeah. Uh, I just thought that was some weird stuff that was going now. So, hey, Raw Talk, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but you're you're done with you're done with the classified. In your in your mind, if you was um, like apt to get one last one that you really cherished, what which <laughs> one might it be? I'm getting the Serpentor. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Good, getting, good. Good. That's the only one I really wanted, and that's it. It came back up. I was like, fuck it. I'll fight the bullet. Wait, Roy, you backed out of, of classifieds? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm you and me both, brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> After I missed um, uh, Mindbender and then Serpentor, I said, no, nah, I'm done. Yeah. I, I can't play those games, up, man. I was like, fuck yeah, it. But you have to understand. This is Once they release, released, they'll be available I'm again. So I, I had to get it. I had I had to get Serpentor. I, that's one of my favorite characters, you know. I know uh, Serpentor came back for a short little while. I think what Friday? Yeah, whopping five minutes. I actually got them. My friend got them for me, and I told him just cancel it because uh, yeah, I can't now. Huh? I can't. <laughs> no, he was up. He was up there for a lot longer because uh, I didn't find out about it till yeah. I I, I probably saw about nine o'clock. Five hours. The crack pipe. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to get them because I, I just wanted, you know, for a nice little display, a corner display, because I got the comic book and everything set up. So I just want a little display just with that's it. Well, and I ordered that uh, Snake Eyes and Timber version two today just because I wanted the white wolf. Well, you could spray. All, all he is is just a damn uh, a recopy of a mixture of figures. Yeah. yeah, well, like I said, I bought it for the wolf. So, yeah. But other than that, uh, and three, mm -hmm. that's it. That's that's my last piece of uh, Hasbro getting my. Money. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Which is a great. <laughs> piece of on. It's almost like the the tier of the the doneness of GI Joe before they went and did other stuff. You know, like the Python Patrol and shit. Serpentor was like. My, in my Transformers Generation 1 um, was like a 1986 movie where um, Unicron came and all the fucking Autobots died. And you're like, motherfucker, what? What? Yeah. Then yeah. there's that Galva like Galvatron. Fuck Galvatron. I want my Megatron. They, why didn't they? But my whole storyline, whatever, yeah. I retract from you guys being bored. Um, but the uh, yeah, so Serpentor is the height of when I stopped watching G.I. Joe as well. Mm. Once Because I got to that age. We all got to that age where we stopped. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Like, you got into football and all that. Bullshit. We always talk about it. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, Serpento was pretty much at the end of my collecting as well. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much Because after that, everything was less and colored, and I was done with it. Yep. Hey, 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 kid. He said, how's she going to come on and just win, do over? that Kid, if there were – she followed the rules. All she had to do was come in for 35 minutes <laughs> – 
Well, actually, she didn't come in for 35 minutes. Right. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe she was in the whole time, but working and doing other stuff, and she just had her phone in her pocket, and she knew when to fucking jump in. Because how did that happen? Right at that time? She did. That's a pretty good mark of, uh, oops, you know. And then now she's out. What's up, Desmond? If you're still here, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean nothing. Still not in the chat. She gets disqualified. I know, right? She's probably I'm, over. Don't worry. Kaz, hey, she's hey. probably at Kaz's anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just sent a nice cookware uh, box. Hey, let, let, let's, let's see who gets uh, second. Let's see who gets second by again. <laughs> second prize. Uh, my lovely, who's who's going to get the surprise box? box. <laughs> Get the surprise box. Hey, we'll do top three here. Yeah. Oh, big I mean, M, motherfucker. Indeed. Big M. Uh, a banger to the show. He was here every go. fucking time. Yeah, too. he was here every time. Oh, uh, sorry. Hey, okay. Um, consolation. There's a consolation. I'm going to write that on here. Consolation. <laughs> There's what? number one. We'll pick three consolations. That's fair because Destiny Reed really did swoop in hard. She nailed that shit. Wow. Yeah. Shit. All right. So here's the, the top three consolidation or uh, consolate. Consolate. Oh. Second and third place. Just Mr. Mr. DFS and shit. Mr. DFS. That's cool. DFS is your fucking almost it, probably all the time too. I can't undo it. These are sticky notes. Really hard to undo. But. DFS consolation. Infinite. <laughs> You're doing another oh. one? Oh shit. Oh that's three. I got I got almost any three more paintings. <laughs> <laughs> criminal element, bro. Criminal now. What you know, are we criminal now? You made those three people uh, highly upset. <laughs> 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 what? Hey, Destiny, bro. I can't believe that. That's so out of the out of out of. But she's been on the show before. Maybe not Halloween bangers, but she's jumped in on lives before. I, we've seen her name. So. Criminal, yeah. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, if a name made it to the hat, then she was eligible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Some with her. yeah, yeah. It just like. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got a, 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 pimp, a manifest and some pots and pans. Hey, M3, what's your uh, choice of caffeine drink? Um, the darkest coffee at Starbucks with no sugar, no cream. So uh, you and drink a that? And an espresso, espresso for, oh, wait, 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 I take that back. <laughs> uh, a fucking espresso just by itself and then there's one right after that with the it's like an espresso but it's got the, the cream on top and you, they do like the little design they pull through a line with the toothpick and shit oh so you're bougie if that's coffee bro fuck all this uh, I mean that's, that's my favorite I have Folgers over here medium roast Folgers and we put it in the Keurig we open up the thing we, we fill up Folgers pop it in 16 ounces. I'm going to uh, send you some of these. Oh, shit. Those are the Mountain Dew, crazy Mountain Dews, huh? Yeah, I'm going to send you some of these, see what you think. Hey, we've talked about this before. Rob, those are are those in your area? And too many, are those in your area? Curtis, no, I haven't seen them in my area. Yeah, I don't oh. mess with any type of soda. It's not soda. Well, I mean. <laughs> it, it is, but this it's right, is right. This is all I drink. I drink right now. I, I all I drink is coffee and water. I just drink. Sometimes water. I might take a sip of pot. I got like poison to me, Monster. just because my throat's been. Yes, I I don't oh, yeah. drink anything that's carbonated Rebel. and has corn syrup in it. I corn syrup is beer. Mountain this here is beer. Beer. Yeah. Oh wow! Wow. Yeah, check it out. It's not like, great. So if you don't die in a car accident driving drunk, you can have a heart attack from the caffeine. <laughs> no, ca no caffeine. 
No caffeine, no but sugar. But then it doesn't qualify for the question, right? It was what caffeinated <laughs> beverage, uh, right? Uh, look at kids fucking comment. I don't drink pussy, or I drink pussy juice. Good lord, kid. Dang. Uh, what if you had a? What if you had a fucking? Eats as somebody who drinks pussy juice. Twelve ounces of fucking <laughs> pussy juice, bro. The fuck is wrong with people? Just some broad ate at the plant. They got some broad just hella wet and on, uh, just dumping into the can, bro. Wait, <laughs> hey, hey, if he drinks, if he drinks the pussy juice, then he drinks white claws. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Bo. Sorry, brother. Yeah, Bo loves his white claws for sure. He loves fucking white claws, dude. That's hella funny, man. Yeah. Pussy, pussy juice. Jeez. In moderation or what, man? <laughs> what do you got to do? You got to make her squirt every time? <laughs> yeah. Uh, White Claw's he, been around for a really he, long time, though. Since the uh, 80s. Except uh, in the uh, 80s, they used to uh, put them in bottles and call them wine coolers. Yeah. I thought it was called Zimas. <laughs> <Little bottles of drinks? laughs> no, no. That's hey. what they called them in the 90s. <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, Hey, we did them cactus coolers, Zimas, like a motherfucker, bro. Like that was what you took to a fucking little party and shit. Hey, S3, hey, dude. Hey. What's up, buddy? How's it going, Steve? Hey, S3, you guys. This is my, this hey, is my friend Steve. Jason. Have you met Jason before, Steve? No, I haven't met him. Oh Jason, no, I think I did. He was oh, on yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, his stream okay. a couple weeks back. Okay. And you know me sound with yeah, yeah. You know, you know everybody here, Steve, yes? Yeah. I believe Marco's had him locked up in his house this whole time. Yeah, look, man, if you need us to call the police for you, just let us know, man. Signal us. I gotta ask you. We'll send help. Hey, Rob, up, I got a question. What what movie's better, Forty Eight Hours or Beverly Hills Cop? Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Beverly Hills Cop for me. Yeah, Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Oh yeah, Beverly Hills Cop. Mm. It's a hard one for me, but <laughs> Forty Eight Hours is great. But I think Beverly Hills Cop is just a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah I would go with Beverly Hills. I like the beginning of it. When, when he was with the trucks with the cigarettes, yeah, and and it was like, like, that, that whole it was also like Damon that. Wayans' first movie. Nice. Hey, what about He's Rush the Hour? One who gave him the bananas, even though Nick Nolte and, and Eddie that was a great combo, man. That's yeah, it was. Hey, I Indian, man, the I like them both. Played, the guy that played the Indian guy, he was in Predator, yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. 48 hours for a fucking kid. I like them both equally the same. There's nothing about this one that I don't like about this. I know. I mean, it's, hard, it's a hard one for yeah. me. Yeah. But they're they're almost identical flicks, too. So oh, Then you throw in Rush Hour. I mean, Ooh, I'll do Rush Hour like a motherfucker, dude. And I love the other two that we're talking about. But, nah, but I can't put Rush Hour on oh, par with uh, okay, 48 not, hours in Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. 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 I, I, can see, I can see your point big time. Those the only thing that edges good. out Beverly Hills Cop with me is it's it's oh, Detroit. <laughs> they got you know they got those yeah. Detroit scenes. I, I, I wanted that Detroit Lions jacket. I know that's tight, ain't it? It's still tight. I mean, you can get it. You can buy it now. Okay. What does it look like? I've yeah. been looking for it for about four years or five years now. I can't find yeah, it online. Hey, I'm silver, silver yeah. and blue, silver oh. with a blue line. I've been seeing that all the time, man. Yeah, it's got the lion helmet on it. Although I will say this about Beverly Hills Cop. They did make one fatal error in that movie. What's There's that? no way Axel Foley would have took that art dealing girl on a goddamn cop mission with it. <laughs> He's a like, coffee grind. What do you use for coffee grind? That's how you call little drugs. Was that shit don't work? Oh, yeah. And, and, and you know what? I kind of the combination of the uh, the two Beverly Hills cops, those two guys were awesome. Mm -hmm. Judge Reinhold and uh, yes, really? uh, Taggart yeah, and yeah, Bogomil. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Bogomil was the captain. Yeah, Bogomil. Yeah. Now, what about back and Brad Rosewood, Billy Rosewood. Yeah, Rosewood. Yeah, yeah. Beverly Hills. Yeah, 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 but then you go into all Eddie Murphy's films as far as those those early ones. Dude. He, he blockbuster. 
This is like the Will Smith. Well, yeah, Sorry, Will Smith. Smith well, well, right this ready if you want some. The Golden Child was one of my favorites Golden as a kid. Dude, Eddie Murphy keeps like upgrading his wives. He's got like he's had like twelve wives. He keeps upgrading. He can afford it. <laughs> well, Andy hasn't aged a damn day. I know. Uh, really? Yeah. Water. Maybe he really is a was a vampire from Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah that, that now that was one of the movies that was iffy, but it was funny as hell. Oh, he had a he yeah. had, he did have a bad streak. I mean, come on, Pluto <laughs> Nash might be one of the worst movies ever made. Really Pluto mad. Nash. I would say Beverly Hill Cop Three. Was that the one with Bridget Nielsen? No, no, that was two. Okay, was then I agree with you. The ones where he was in the, like a fake Disney World. Yes, that was that, that was that that was a uh, Great America here in <laughs> California. Yeah, yeah, I did. I didn't like. I didn't. It was just like the the cinema photography was just too clean. It, and, well, it looked like a made for TV movie. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Like yeah. he was on the love boat or some shit. Like it was just like too clean. It was just like stage. Like if he was at, you know, the attraction with uh, Jaws and all the earthquake that old uh, out there in California, like the Universal. Yeah. yeah, like that. It, it wasn't really high budgeted, so. Mm. Like that. And you know that might be one of the only times I've ever seen the actor that played Bogomil play a good guy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean in RoboCop he's the bad guy. In um, uh, what is it? Uh, Total Recall he's the bad guy. Hold on, Total Recall. You got the wrong guy. No, in Beverly Hills Cop, the guy that played Bogomil, Taggart and Rosewood's boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. With the yes, white, he's the same white. guy who was the big bad in Robocop yeah, 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 and in Total Recall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he yeah. was, you're talking about the guy that, like, basically was just nothing but yelling about to have a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. That was, that was the man, the, the guy, the mayor. The, mayor? The, the assistant to the mayor. Hold on. Cause he did, there, there was, <laughs> there was the guy who was the, Captain that got replaced. Remember, he got replaced. He said, "You're fired." And the guy that was, um... hold on, hold up. <laughs> we all hold up, hold up, because all right, now, that was the Detroit guy. The black guy was Detroit. That was screwed. yeah. And when he went to Beverly Hills, no, was the uh, guy with the bald head, because he was the guy that. Uh, yeah, he was screaming all the time. Like, he was like a real, a real um, something in real life. Because I, what did I watch? Some drug fucking uh, documentary. He was, uh, was the dragon bitch. captain. Uh, yeah. Bogomil wasn't the yellow. Bogomil talked calmly to them. Yeah, Bogomil was the captain, but that other yeah. guy, was the commissioner, I believe. Hey, right? put the link on. Put the link on. You talk Rosewood's partner Taggart was. Put the bald. link in the chat. Hey, real quick, real quick. So I was thinking, because I'm high, and I went walking off to get a beer, and I was thinking, <laughs> what if I offer Destiny Marie 100 bucks on top of everything so that she, could, she would throw her name out and do the whole thing with No, 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 no. Let it be. Let it stand, man. Okay. That's what it is. We're not sour. Okay. Pussy, Boy, that, okay, cool. Yeah, because I was just thinking, I was like, huh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, Lone Dragon wants on throw the That's life. We all we all adults. We know what life is. It yeah. was a- you can't make everyone <laughs> happy, and if you try, you'll fail. Excellent, excellent. Did you excellent. hear me, Marcos? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait, okay. say say it one more time, Chris. I'm sorry. Lone Dragon wants on. Uh, I think- uh, 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 he said, uh, "If you uh, don't, if you don't let him on, he's going to the channel." <laughs> <laughs> The link is in the chat. Hey, yo. Oh, I guess if he just yo, came on, he won't have the full chat. Read table. nothing. <laughs> She's not a collector. She's a spectator. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm looking for Tommy Tom. <laughs> have you seen him? Who's Tommy Tom? M3. Uh-uh. Have you seen Tommy Tom? Was he here? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> Wait, I'm like scared. He said no. No? Yak loins. Good to keep the yang up. <laughs> There's nothing wrong, nothing with, my wrong with my yang. <laughs> Man. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Egg. Where's hey. well, there he is. Wait. Man, and only you... a man whose ass is narrow can get down these steps. And if mine is such an ass, then I shall have it. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah. Golden child, man. Golden okay. child. So here's the thing. Can you got somebody that's oh, named oh, Sardo oh, Nuke? Please. Brother Nuke? <laughs> Brother I've, seen, I've seen Golden Brother Child Brother. twice. I've seen it only two times. So a reference oh. to that? Man. Hey, if you did a, a reference to like uh, uh, coming to America, some motherfucking good ass, good ass shit. I got lines. I know lines in that motherfucker. <laughs> no, the line. best line in that movie is, "Who is that?" Oh, just the man I met in the restroom. <laughs> that movie's <laughs> great. That movie has a shout out to uh, uh yeah, trading the place. other Eddie Murphy movie. What well, uh. Trade uh Trading huh? places, yeah. Trading Randall places. Yeah, right, right. Duke, Order, our homeless Order, guys. In. We're back. Yeah, we're yeah. back. <laughs> and I wish they would have made that movie. Me too. That would have been perfect. I would have been like, oh. But then you got to think about the premise. Well, have you guys watched the movies that made us on Netflix? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just yeah. like the, the, that the, movie. The, people did the they were talking us. about how the, um, the, the producers were against putting the those characters in. Mm. Are you eating chips? Oh, fuck you, dude. I'm gonna be close to your You're ass. You're talking about I'm gonna get fucking <laughs> that guy after your ass. Um, yeah. But, but they had to tie it in some way because it was still under Eddie Murphy's production that uh, yeah. yeah, dog here. Can you imagine how much different Ghostbusters would have been if they'd gotten Eddie uh, Eddie Murphy instead of um, excuse me, you know, if Winston Zedmore was played by Eddie Murphy? Yeah, that would have been ah uh, nah, that wouldn't have been good. They did they made the right choice because that wouldn't have been good. Yeah, when it became his movie. Exactly. My, my favorite. Well, all-time. at the time when they when they were trying to hire Eddie Murphy, they didn't have Bill Murray yet. Yes, right. it would have been an Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, my 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 favorite Eddie Murphy movie of all time is Trading Places. Well, not Trading Places, but uh, Boomerang. Boomerang. Yeah. Boomerang. Uh, Boomerang. Yeah. It was all right. Well, he had more of a little bit of a serious acting, and it was still funny as hell. Mm. And you had all, uh, but them, I couldn't help be cringing people. for him when uh, Eartha Kitt was coming on to him all hard. That's what I mean. That shit was so funny. My hey, it, I have no Marcus. <laughs> wasn't Arsenio Hall the woman yeah. in that? Who was the woman? Who was the? He was at the restaurant, and uh, he was sitting down at the nice restaurant with the girl, but it was a a dude. No, what? That's coming Didn't to America. That, the, yeah. No, he, right, right. But isn't in that movie too, uh, Curtis? No, the one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, I he was, was at a cool. nice restaurant. He was sitting down with, um, oh, Grace Jones, and she's yeah, like, was... "You don't want this pussy." Yes, you yes. Her down this yeah. pussy. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I knew it. That's what yeah. I was talking about, man. Yeah, that's oh, Grace okay. Jones. Jones, yeah, that's Grace Jones. Man. Hey, that was nuts, bro. One of the top <laughs> models back in the day. That guy over there, he's gay. And he's gay. He was in uh, Conan the Destroyer. Hey guys, yeah. 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 I just wanted to come on and say hi. Hi. Hey, hey, uh, I'll be on a uh, Kaz stream. So hi. when you guys are done, hey, okay. we do the after party, Steve. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah I'll definitely host the after party tonight. Cool, cool. Right on. Hi, right, cool. All right, Steve. Cool. All right, guys. Hi. See you later. Right. later. Bye, bye. Yeah, buddy. yeah. This shit was so funny. Hey, I'm gonna uh, uh, pussy. You know, M3. Yes. We were talking about uh, doing Christmas movies next. Now yeah, that yeah. you're done with horror. Well, it was it's horror Christmas movies, like uh, oh, well, or like oh, only horror Christmas. Now nah, we should do well, all. No, we're only talking about, really talk uh, about like one show. Do. Hey, so we could easily uh, a profit. Are you interested in being a Christmas banger? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 
Oh, cool. So when it comes the around, problem is I don't get off of work until on Fridays. I don't get home from work until eight p.m. here in uh, Chicago. So it's eleven for me. We do it's it's two hours or three hours. Saturday though. Uh, I this is Saturday though. Oh, it's a, well Saturday. I don't get off until seven p.m. So I get home around seven thirty. Cool. Just but that's here. Shows, so that would be eight thirty Kaz's time, and I believe. 5.30 your time? Okay. Yeah, two hours. Different. Yeah, so Saturdays, right? Right. I would, yeah. I would well, think you stop? Saturdays, right? Or well, no? Because um, we'll, 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 we'll work those bugs out as we communicate a little bit more. Because I got to first yeah. commit to that. And uh, I'm, I can. But usually Christmas is like a time like where it takes a lot of your family time and shit. You know what I mean? Yes. So I wouldn't want to like – I have to like think about that and really think. So I think November would be good for it. But – through all the way through December, I, I don't know if I could fucking commit, you know. And it would be yeah, to like start something and shit. And then, well, do it like after Thanksgiving, like Black Friday on to be the fifteenth of uh, or somewhere in between. Okay, there. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. yeah well, could be like a special, just once a one show. Maybe two. Yeah. Maybe two. two. Maybe two. Oh, two. Well, two in December, right? Or. Mm. Well, if it's only going to be two episodes, you should do more than one Christmas movie per. All right. So everybody pick one. And then fucking you got 10 minutes to 20 minutes to 30 minutes, wherever the conversation goes on each one. But then there's a certain <laughs> point be like, all right, give what's, what's your movie and shit, right? Hey, if you're going to do that, why don't you do uh, like right after Thanksgiving and instead of doing Black Friday shopping, do a uh, Black Friday M3 show. Yeah, Where's a 24 hour show? We'd have to come up with something better than Black Friday, though, like a uh, marathon of Christmas show marathon. Like, yeah. <laughs> that'd yeah. be crazy. <laughs> we were talking about Saturday that to before. Sunday. <laughs> In Mar- oh, we so could do, we could do, um, um, we could do uh, brackets and then come up with the best out of the top oh, eight. The battle oh, but, of the Christmas shows. Battle yeah, 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 yeah. And so many, so many shows are to be had. We had a really good conspiracy one, like Thunker, yes. already. It just has to like commit and move forward and shit, right? It's fucking yeah. fun to talk about that. And the whole thing is listening to everybody's different fucking opinions and ideas perfectly. I love it. Yeah, and love ideas that. too. Well, and you yeah. can take other things into consideration too, like their box office numbers, their uh, their ratings on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, you know. Yep. And everyone's personal favorite, you know. Dude, you take you, all those different things into consideration, yeah. and you Christmas can easily come up with like a nice little battle royale yeah. for Christmas movies. What was it? Oh, profit director. Do you? What's your art? Uh, does Rotten Tomato match with your yours? Oh yeah, that was good. Oh yeah. No, they, but it's a good measurement of the mass public opinion. Well, oh, no. Cool. Does it give you a separate rating for critics and for people who just come on and review? Actually, Rotten Tomatoes found out to be frauds. You can yeah, put, yeah, you didn't know that probably. Really? really? You, when, yes. did that, when did that come up? Oh, when well, the last about two years ago or something like that. Year so ago? we don't have any good measurement for public ratings on these it, movies. No, it's not like, it be just like like our comments? love for those huh? movies. Those helmets. <laughs> Can you just so yeah. well at least at least the, the box office Ooh. numbers are public knowledge. Nice, yeah. That is well, we could cool. still put rotten with rotten tomatoes on, or some people still whatever. Mm. You could still put it on. Yeah, you know they. they were, I mean, what would we call it? The opinion. I, of I would I would just go off of box office numbers, not even rotten tomatoes. Just based yeah, off box of office numbers, numbers is best. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, but box office numbers, yeah, gross. grossing uh, uh, Christmas, oh, yes, world gross. Uh, but basically, you want to do adjusted for inflation because what you want to count is butts and seats, right? <laughs> hey, real quick, let me can I interrupt real quick? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop everybody out just to do this. I, I want everybody to see that picture behind the everybody. Sorry. Okay. I just wanted a hey, prop. I just wanted everybody to see that. I'll just pull my dick out. <laughs> yes, oh. she's she's magic, man. <laughs> so cool. 
Oh, can can I? Oh, can I bring up uh, Andre Cruz right here? Check this guy out, Andre. Let me put me on solo on solo real quick. This is a highlight, and if I timestamp two thirty, I'm gonna send it to him. Two thirty twenty five. Um, give me solo layout. Give me give me three and a half minutes. Let me see. Oops, I just. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, I'm gonna put me on solo layout too. If I could really see. okay. This is Mr. Andre Cruz and shit. I told him sign it, please. He said yes. Puff nice. puff pass, no moss. Boom. <laughs> Come on, let me get this shit out. Oh, hold on. Give me, give me one second. Hold on. The fuck was that? Got something bouncing. Okay, look at the mirror. These things are perfect, dude. Where'd you get that mirror at? Oh, you, you have no idea how relieved I am to see a car there and not a line of white powder. I was just about to say the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay, wait, <laughs> so he's about to cut him up. Up. <laughs> about to the same. Real time. Pop up some nice strips. <laughs> we are the eighties. All right, that's nice, man. Miami Vice. So he um he did the steering wheel 3D print because he, he takes them all apart. Look at that inside. Nice. He takes them all apart, paints them. Oh, damn. Yeah. Look at that shit. Now I just met him and shut out Pat for sending me the he was like, Hey, Andre Cruz has this car. You want to fucking buy it? And I was like, Hey, yep. And then I started talking to Andre Cruz and shit. Look at that steering wheel. 3D printed. I know I said it, but just and then he paints them and he puts them in the fucking uh, air fryer at 150, 125, 200, something like that to really bake the paint in and shit. And he he his daughter chose these wheels. He was like, what kind of wheels do you want? And I was like, I just left the magic up to him. I was like, you figure it out, bro, because I, I trust you. And uh, his he said, yeah, his, his daughter. I, still, I sent him a when he sent me that picture. Of it, I was like, bro, I just got chills like a motherfucker. That is perfect right there. Anyway. Texted him how much I loved it. I fucking jerked off Not on it. Shit. He does the bottom. <laughs> That's why it's green. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Duke's a hazard all day long. It man. comes out green. He yeah. needs to see a doctor immediately. Well, you know California. <laughs> you know California. Hey, shout out Andre Cruz. Three minutes, I think that was. Yeah. Oh, Prime. I love it. Nice. The secret of the ooze. <laughs> So what you're saying is, Marco uh, is what is the reason the Ninja Turtles exist? Yes. <laughs> is that a, is that a disease? A Dixie Turtle? Turtle. He spoods all over turtles and. <laughs> <laughs> the secret of the ooze is that yeah. Marco's jerked off. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Prof, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just about to say that. <laughs> You're crazy, motherfuckers, man. <laughs> oh, who's here? Simple Eddie says, uh, Andres is one hell of a customizer. He steps up his game. He sure does, but it's like absolutely perfect. It, there's yeah, nothing. Yeah. I, I know paint. Yeah, I know car given paint. Interior, that kind of detail on that small a scale is impressive. Yes, yes, yes. Why does this stuff keep echoing? Is that me? Let me see. Let me remove you real quick. Is it, <laughs> is it still echoing? Because uh, I don't think it is. I hope there. it's not me. It's not you, for sure. Yep, it's him. Um, yeah, he said when I heard, I heard profit echo. Yeah. Yes, it sounded like I did, but I don't have anything else on. No, you're good. I might on my end, you're all good. Everybody's good. Sometimes you you cut in and out a little bit. I'm trying to figure out if this is my shit. Or hey, good. the best the best echoer known to mankind is shrapnel, motherfuckers, motherfuckers. Oh shit! <laughs> shrapnel takes it, bro. And when you hear his voice, it's like that synthesized robotic voice. It's the yeah. best. It's the it's the then Soundwave. Autobots inferior, salvage superior. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, dude. Give me oh that, yes, I ordered man. that. Uh, I ordered that today, actually. That um, that three and three quarter inch sound wave that transformed. Yeah. 
The, uh, oh, the what is it? The um, hang on, let me look it up. It's it's legacy core, 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 core. Yes, 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 that new one that just uh, they just put it up on Hasbro Pulse. Hasbro Pulse. Hasbro Pulse. Yes, Hasbro but it's only eleven ninety nine, and I'm thinking if it's three and three quarters as a robot, then when it when you transform it, it's going to scale pretty well with six inch figures. He's iced out. Who is it? I am three. Yes, yeah, up, sir. Is that the abomination? Uh, That's abomination, huh? Oh shit! Okay, Mister T, abomination? Huh? So Mister T, abomination? It's actually the um, what is it? The playerverse or something like that? Mm. Uh, oh, the, the gameverse. Gameverse, yeah. Yes, you had to buy. Um, there was a Captain America, an Iron Man, yeah, uh, right. in blue armor. Um, I believe. Uh, the uh, Miss Marvel oh, was shit. in that line. Um, you had to get the, uh, the leader, the leader, and else. the Spider Man. Uh, oh, well, I've never seen that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, yes, it's the game of us abomination. I now, saw I've it. seen some people take the um, raw. Did you ever pick up yeah, the uh, Diamond Select Abomination? The Marvel, no, I didn't pick that up. Because that one, uh, I've seen people switch the head. Yeah. I, I, from I, I, that Diamond Select one onto that, and it looks a million times better. Yeah. I have a, I first saw his toes. I thought it was a man thing. Yes, I have that mixed to fit, Mr. Fix It myself. Yeah. I never completed the Mr. Hyde, though. Mm hmm. Yeah. But uh, you know what I did with my Mr. Fix It? What you do? I put the uh, the bull head from the um, you know the Minotaur builder figure from the Doctor yeah. Strange wave. I put that head on there. Okay. So in my videos, whenever I need to lawyer something, I'm going to have him come out and call bullshit. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> bullshit. That's crazy. You're going bullshit. But yeah, these are uh, the build of I got more. I got the Hobgoblin. Oh, no, the Demo Goblin. That, yeah. The Demo Goblin is very nice. Yeah. I've never seen that one. Hold on. Let me show you. I got him. I don't believe you. Guys, I'm going to be out. All hey, right. hold on. Hold on to me. Hold on real quick. Hold on. I'll be go watching the room in the bed. Okay. Cool. Bye, Maggie. Too many. Thank you very much. Hey, too many, bro. Right. Right. Uh, you banged the one day. out, bro. <laughs> hey, that was great. Hey, to me, hold, hold, hey, hold on for one second. Yeah. Hey, look, uh, Ben M3 was giving a big old shout out. I want to give a shout out to this woman right here. Out of nowhere, we were talking earlier, and this woman pulls up and gives me this watch out of the blue. I mean, you know, me and her was honestly sitting there just talking about this watch, saying how it looked cool and everything. Next thing I know, we're sitting here. Yeah, it was just me, Curtis, and M3 talking. She pops up and says, hey, I got you a watch. Hell yeah. How, how many times can you say that your woman actually pays attention to what you say, listens to everything that you, you talk about or have interest in, and just says, hey, I got you something. Here you go. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I have to honestly yeah, say well, this right here is the Fairness best woman. To every word that I say, what? but only to hold it against <laughs> me in arguments. It's a rare thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I have to say this this is truly truly the best woman I have ever met outside my grandmother. But I I, I have to go out and say I love this woman to death. Aw, Susan, yeah, I like you too, Susan. Yeah, yes. thank you. Yes. But I, I just had both on blast. Have, have great women. Yeah. Oh, but too many. Uh, thank you, sir. Bye, Maggie. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye. Yep. Bye. Well, bye yeah. you have a good you night. Yes. Yeah, great work, man. Good night. All right, y'all. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you sound with me, yeah. you, and Susan. You've got a good wife, too, man. Let me like this, you. Yeah. We're well, all <laughs> I believe. <sighs> My, my wife, 
me all types of shit. <laughs> oh, that's good too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just never. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's rolled up too small. Need no, to that was big. The the first mistake I did, I rolled my. I thought it was my first time. Nobody really, you know. I was like, hey, you roll up the dollar, you fuck do it. We were, we were all fuck around. I rolled the dollar up so tight that you couldn't even see daylight through it. Now, yep. now that I know, you're supposed to do it real loose so you can get that blast. Boop. You know, like fucking. Mm. Shit, man. Look, we used to take a straw, wrap the dollar bill around the straw, and then pull the straw out. Yeah, that's a perfect. Uh, hey, my, I got a, I got a friend, man, Tony. Oh man, him and Sam, they put their names in cursive, like their names, and they fucking railed. I don't, I wasn't there, but my sister, she was, and she told me, and I was like, damn. And uh, in one swoop, it wasn't like I'm gonna take a break and at S A, I'll get the M later, like. Fucking nailed it, right? Like, damn. God damn. You know when that happens? <laughs> you, if your if your mucus thing isn't opened up from being rotted and eaten away, it's not going to go anywhere, but fall right back out. So you, you, that shit had to have gone in and then or, or hold it. That's a lot of dope, right? So I don't know. I would love to have seen that for sure. Ouch! Know, sure. All I can say is ouch. It yeah. was Ajaxed. And the and the drain oh, yeah. for like the next six days. <laughs> like oh. all right, oh, I do damn. have this question though. If you already have a straw, why would you need to roll a dollar around it to do it? Why wouldn't you just use the straw? <laughs> because the plastic yeah. grab residue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but so does the dollar that's been touched by dollar, human dollar flows. A dollar flows better. I mean, this is just what I've been told. I, I wouldn't know. We used to, uh, when we were done doing it through a dollar, we used to lick the dollar to get the residue. Mm, mm, mm. You, know. <laughs> Are you guys done talking about your drug fucking escapades? No, kids, no. no we're going to start talking about this plastic fucking crack. kids channel, okay? Hey, right, we're going to start talking about plastic says, crack. You ready to jump in? Channel. Oh, man. We got, well, we got to talk about the plastic crack. Hey yo, yo, check this out. Like new sound. What's said, funny is, so I'm trying uh -huh. to complete my uh, little capsule with the uh, refrigerator Perry, and most of his shit is rock bottom cheap as hell. Like, oh damn, I could get his jersey with the autograph sig signature for like seventy nine dollars. It's like crazy. So I just won the, uh, I won his rookie card for three bucks. And really? uh, yeah, I want to get a well, mini, you know, I a guess if you helmet. think about it, right? Long term, William Refrigerator Perry's like his career wasn't like storied for very long. No, no, no right? not it at was all. just pretty much 1985 was the highlight, and everything beyond that was kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. average. But, and you, yeah. like I told my brother, he he, he only won hearts and minds of us because he was a Joe, right? So. I'm just glad I could. Well, he won the hearts and minds of me because I live in Chicago and I was a Bears fan. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, but, you know. But you so, know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, a helmet. What too. usually happens is if their record Sweet. gets broken by the next person, then you know what I'm saying. It's just mute at that point. They'll be known out of history, but. The new guy, with yeah, that stock goes down. Like you yeah. know what I mean. Like yeah. all right, but I mean, LeBron the eighty-five James just Bears beat. had to be the most arrogant football team in history. Wait, who? Which who? The eighty-five Bears. I mean, come on, they made the Super Bowl shuffle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was on yeah. MTV. But yeah. yo, he they had like a rap song posting. with fucking. He had a rap Halfway song with what's his team. name and shit, man. I know. Fucking refrigerator Perry was the shit in the eighties, bro. You know was, I mean? But I mean, look, and he the, that team had a million great. Well, not a million. I'm exaggerating, but like so many good players on that team. I mean, Walter oh, Payton, yeah. yeah, Richard yeah. Dent, uh -huh. Mike Singletary, Mike Singletary. I mean, the back, names yeah. just keep piling up. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, this guy likes the Eagles. Oh Lord, he's an Eagle fan. Uh, hey, from, yes. Hotel like California is a classic. We got the Chicago Mafia yeah. with that too. Oh baby, they was on the team too. Shit. As long hey, as see? Dallas, long as Dallas, they're keeping Dallas down. I'm, I'm, I'm with the Eagles. I can't Calgary? stand Dallas. Calgary? 
The uh, only team I don't, I don't like. The only team I don't like is motherfucking. Uh, let me think about it. I don't think there's a team that I don't the like. Patriots. You no. Carolina Patriots. The Patriots. Fuck them. And all, yes, all, all New is. York teams. All New York teams suck ass. Oh, the motherfucking Hockey team, baseball, football, basketball. Giants is doing pretty good right now. Hey, it's Seattle Seahawks. Shit. Fuck uh-huh. you, Everybody Sherman. Nobody cares about no Giants. Fuck you. What's the coach's name? What's the coach's name of the Seahawks? Pete Carroll. Carroll. Carroll Fuck yeah. you, Carroll. Even if you were here right now, we were drinking <laughs> beer. After I found you out, you were Pete Carroll. I'd be like, you suck, bro. Honestly, I don't even I don't even watch any sports these days. Ooh. I haven't watched sports for like the last ten years. Okay. Hey, did the anybody pick up Cam Newton? Yeah, it's been it's no. been like five years for me. I haven't watched. I think no. he went. I think somebody got him. No, he's not picked up yet. I might watch some boxing. Actually, what's his name? Is boxing uh uh silver tonight? Uh, that inter- internet dude. That, uh, oh yeah, uh, the, guy. That, that oh, that's tonight. That yeah, that's dude, tonight. Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh shit. He's talking to everybody. Minutes, here's fact. here's my gripe with him. He's talking all this shit to like, which is fine, good for you because you're making money. So he I he fixes think, his fights. He yeah, fixes. Well, them. Yeah, it's like Sugar Ray, bro. He's like 52, 4. Um, the other guy, like, I'd like he to might, see him fight Tyson. If, I, I think Tyson would fucking knock him. Listen, if he didn't fix this fight, he might have a hard time with Silver because Silver got hands. Mike Tyson. Hey, yeah, but did you hear about uh, what he said with Silver? If if Silver wins, he'll do X, Y, Z. If he wins, then they do X, Y, Z. Oh, no, I didn't hear what they said. Yeah, they said that, that uh, if Silva wins, then uh, he'll go up against Silva in a, a kickboxing match. Oh, Lord. Have and if he wins, then he and Silva go together and start up an organization for uh, MMA <laughs> fighters for better pay, better health, That's but, awesome. uh, health insurance, all so that. What do, see, obviously, you know what's getting ready to happen. My man's going to take the dive. He already gave him $7 million probably for that, right? Yeah. And then they start up this uh, organization oh, for... Uh, oh, Jake Paul. Jake yeah. Paul. Jake Paul and, um, job, and Silver. Anderson Silver start up this uh, union for fighters. I'm sure this well, is going to uh, happen. Also, Hopefully he Jake gets Paul. his top knock the fuck off. Hey, let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up Jake oh, Paul right now. Let's look at Jake, Jake Paul. Paul his uh, yeah. brother is getting into wrestling and going against some guy well, wrestling. Yeah. Too. See, he's yeah, entertaining. Right. He's entertaining as a wrestler, though. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a good heel off rip. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. yeah. Hey, Jake hey, Paul. Think- oh, go ahead. Jake Paul nude pics. Oh. Hey, do you guys think Mike Tyson would have been a good GI Joe? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would have made him a cover. He's like ball rock. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me. Uh, he's can I? Like ball rock. Can I? Uh, yeah. Can I? Can, let me. Let me. Let me tell you yeah. what I think. His his design. Sh- he should have dark bay dark the darkest beige you could fucking come up with, and the uh, just where it shows his arms right here, and he's got the the other color right here. I'm thinking a jersey number as well. Uh, and on his back, he's got jersey. He says Tyson on the back. He's got fucking darker beige, motherfucking baggy, fucking uh, air air airplane. What do they call him? Bo- bo- bomber bomber this pants. This zooted out of his bomber body. pants, dude. And he, he, <laughs> hey, he comes. What are you like, talking about, bro? He's... He comes with like two <laughs> two fucking uh, Glocks, big ones and shit. Two Glocks. Hey, like hey, you know uh, they were supposed to make Rocky Balboa into a Joe figure. Right. Actually, right. I think they have a um, Rocky Balboa figure, right? No, uh, they lost no, uh, no. the rights Big to Boa it. Was, and they uh, made, uh, Big Boa was supposed to fight against Rocky Balboa. Uh, well, they were supposed. To, Big Boa was supposed to be in uh, Rock, Rocky at first, but then they lost the right rights to hey. Rocky. Well, no, because uh. Cobra, Cobra, Big Boa's name changed after they lost the rights to Stallone. Yeah. But they were originally going to do Stallone for the Joes and the, the character that became Big Boa for Cobra. Mm-hmm. Hey, kid, th- this boy this boy right here is coming at you. Here's Wait, what check it doing. out. 
Tyson Man, Williams. I hope his jaw gets wired today. Hey, look at hey, not bad. If you see if he's standing up, look at him stand up. He don't give a fuck. He's looking a motherfucker in the because eye. Because he knows it's a sure thing. He done paid true, the true. motherfucker seven that seven million dollars to fall. True. That that's my that's my opinion of him as well. But, see, but it, at least it, it, it's all about entertainment and making money. Yeah, yes, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yes. Nothing it's nothing really sport about the sport anymore. Number one, Jake Paul I, is a master. I impact of entertainment. entertainment. He yeah. he he mastered the uh, yeah. art of YouTube. And algorithm. they're and yeah. and he don't talk shit. They're still friends after this fight, guaranteed. Yeah. They'll here's the secret. Well, he respects him more from, so than the other people. Because they're helping each other eat, eat having their families eat. So when you see yeah. these fighters in the ring fighting, they, they love each other because why? They're making money for their families. That's dope, bro. Give me that, motherfucker, man. <laughs> hey, what's his stomach say? Uh, let's see. Hey, he's like fucking Harley Quinn and shit, huh? Joker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with this, bro. I, I'll tell you what, man. To have style, to have fucking dignity and respect, and to throw yourself out in front of billions of fucking people, shout out to him. And starting on Instagram, and all he had to do was fucking... Fuck Man, around. Fuck all that. I hope he gets not. I would have fucked out like to Tyson. Me. I would just. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> know anything about it. Jake Paul, but his brother Logan Paul is a real piece of shit. Okay. What did he just? Dis- he did just. Dis- you're right, um, Profit Director. You're correct. There's something that him and his twin brother did do. Mark, because my son, Mar- Marky, fucking. Used- you're right. You're correct. Logan Paul is actually banned from Japan. Yes, yes. Because he took a selfie with a, a corpse in the he, suicide forest. Hey, he completely disrespected a uh, profit director. You yeah. you are the reason right now that I retract everything cool that I said about him. Hey, Logan Paul, if you're listening, man, fuck you. Give me two months in training. I'll fuck you up, bro. But I'm just playing. But uh, you're right. He fucking disrespected Japan hardcore, bro. Hardcore. And I remember thinking hey. like. A little that Why? you guys, a little that you guys know, these guys take performance enhancement drugs. So yeah, fuck this guy. Fuck you, Logan Paul. Yeah, I hope uh, by by one o'clock he's fucking knocked the fuck out. I forgot about that shit, man. That's tonight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's tonight. Why do you, so what I was telling Marky because Marky was like fourteen or fifteen, and I was telling him like, why would somebody do that? Like, what's the? He's like, just for fucking views, Dad. I'm like. But that's it's, so disrespectful. That generation, though. But hold generation. on, what did he do? He 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 found a fucking suicide corpse. No, in, I, in that so forest in Japan, yeah, yeah. there's a forest they call yeah, the suicide, the suicide forest. forest. And he people went go there in and there took to a hang selfie? themselves to end their lives and stuff. Yeah, yeah and yeah, foreigners yeah. aren't even allowed in there in the right. first place. Uh-huh. And he broke the rules to go in there, and then he disrespectfully took a selfie of himself with a hanging body. Yeah, that's hard, bro. That motherfucker's yeah. crazy as hell. You're right, You're right kid. Absolutely. They right. should have. They should have did like Brittany Griner and locked that motherfucker up. Yeah. Hey, what's up with her right now? Does anyone know the current status of that situation? She ain't going nowhere. Yeah, she, she's that going bitch, to have to serve a whole sentence. Then. Stick a fork in her ass. She ain't going nowhere. I heard, I heard that at women at women facilities, they don't fucking serve hot dogs because they masturbate with them. <laughs> motherfuckers rando as hell, son. Oh, hey, that was falling in suit. Hey, kid, that was falling in suit. Yeah, I, I've never about? heard that. You have not, or you have? I have not. Okay, so everybody, look up. I'll look it up right now. Check it out. Uh, because of Russian hot dogs, like. Oh, ho, ho. hey, they're bratwurst. They just said it wrong. They're brats, bro. They're smoked Rock. sausages. Lockford sausages. <laughs> yeah, they're like. <laughs> Baloney. Hey, anybody want some baloney tonight? The big old motherfucking baloney. <laughs> hey, in the, if you've seen some of the news clip, they rushing up to do doors and stuff. She's looking skinny as hell. Like she's malnourished and shit. Oh, have you guys heard this recent story? Yeah, it's looking crazy. Uh, a trans woman in prison knocked up two of the other inmates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All hey. that- Go out the fucking window. This hey, let me stand up for this motherfucker, dude. This fucking that proves that ovation. That that natural chemistry 
that for uh, what, what do you call it? Overrules any fuck they want to make up. Biology. Yeah. You know, biology bio. speaks. Nature is above everything. So you yep. can't say there's more of these. No, it's only two genders, motherfucker. One with a dick, one yeah, with a pussy. At push. the end of the Still day, with. we are what we are. Yes. Hey, there's a big lawsuit with uh people Yo, uh what is it, professional volleyball, whatever. Uh the strength shit. What happened? Is that a dick pic? What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> What's up? No, uh, there's a big say, lo- there's a big lawsuit in uh, professional, uh I have to say volleyball. the timing on that was so perfect. You said I have to, and then dropped it and said shit. It was perfect. Thank you for that, my friend. I'm going to. No, uh, there, there's a, a big lawsuit with uh, professional volleyball, women's volleyball. There's a transgender dude took and done a spike. The ball hit a chick in the face, shattered her jaw, and now she's suing the whole fucking league. Yeah. I saw yeah, yes, but, then, but then she got expelled. For speaking out against the transgender athlete. Right. Yep. Yeah. She's suing. She got she failed, and then that's what uh, made her to do the uh, lawsuit. Yeah, this transgender shit is out of fucking control. Out of yeah. fucking control. No, I, I, all, everybody's out of control right now. All yeah. this fucking... Uh, yeah, damn, everything is out of control. Walk around Look, as a fucking cat. Day, and, as far as I'm concerned... You be whoever you want to be, but you cannot force other people to agree with it. Yeah, and, like like Hasbro Pulse is out of control. So we like Emily's fucking <laughs> fat ass. You know what she said today? Huh? She said, and I might she said, switch the box up and put some other shit and send it back. Fuck it, that's what I'm gonna do. Listen, Just listen, this is what she said. All back she shit. was like, <laughs> oh, uh, about the mole shit, the mole Fuck. shit. She was I'm like, yeah. <laughs> take it out the box, repackage it with some broken wrestler figure and send it back to him. Like, what she the said fuck this. She said this. She was like, exactly you're what- going to like it. I'm going to yeah. like it. Your pocket's not going to like it. But hey, you know how that goes. I'm like, what? I said, she I said that? Kick yeah, in. she said that today. She need to get a fucking head stomped in. Hey, so shout out to, what's her name, Amanda? Hey, bitches, you're going to buy my shit, motherfuckers. Say that over again, what Emily said? Emily, yeah. She hey. said, she said, after she revealed the, she didn't reveal the mole. It had the question mark for the mole thing. Yeah. Right? She said, trust me, you're going to like it. I'm going to like it. Your pocket's not going to like it. But hey, that's just the way it goes. Boom. Ooh. Shout out, Emily. My Shout out, Emily. What oh, else? Yeah, did she, what else did she do? She, she, she's just sitting up there, just fat. Terrible Hell her yeah! Let her. Let her. Hell, all she's doing is ruining Hasbro. I mean, nah, ruining the yeah. days. She didn't yeah. ruin it for me. I'm still buying that shit if it looks good. I ain't buying that Challenger car. I ain't buying. A, I didn't buy a fucking Ragnar or the what's that thing from Star Wars? The, the Rancor thing. monster. I didn't buy a Cookie Monster. The but fuck. you know, you know what the good thing is, new Soundwave. About her being uh, spread out around Hasbro. It means that she has less influence over G.I. Joe now that she's not attached to specifically that. Because now yeah. she's like a spokesman for all of it. So her oh, really? influence is very tiny now. And all I'm... she is is just the, the mouthpiece. Actually, Prophet, that's wrong. Because when she spread out like that, that, that means she got more. When she re- spread out like that, the bed frame's going to bend. <laughs> and she's gonna fucking <laughs> fall through the fucking floor, and well, you're gonna have to replace well, hardwood have, floor well, in your hey, house. Hey, no, she's got a concrete uh, bed frame. Hey, don't hate, <laughs> don't hate, kid, don't hate. <laughs> Just because she's a girl, don't mean she can fucking play, motherfuckers, man. Look, are, I'm you, kid, are, you, are you saying you have to roll her around in flour? Right. Hey, hey, do you think <laughs> Lenny and her, Lenny and her, ever have eye contact with like, I'd fuck you, I'd fuck you too. No, fucking huh? Lenny already no. put the. Pad to the wax I, on that. Yo, bro. you want to know what this I know? This is the thing you that makes her an anomaly. How are you that fat and have no chin? She oh, should have three chins, but she has no chin. I, I want you to know that <laughs> when Lenny looks at her, he's disgusted. 
Simple as that. It should be. Everybody should be. No, not just because of that, because she don't know shit. And she she looks like uh, oh, Violet from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory after she. Wait, wait, wait. Up. Hey, she's like a cat. Let me ask you so. Hey, how many of y'all call the uh, the whole Sepentor shit? They never yeah. said Sepentor. They were saying some other fucking bullshit name. Yes, I, I, I noticed that as well. Yeah. They were what? I forget Serpentor. what they were saying, but they, they, they never were saying said Serpentor. No, they were saying something way totally off key. Oh, uh, I didn't catch that. Well, this is Cobra from DC Comics. This is the motherfucker that's going back in the package once I send that shit back to Hasbro. <laughs> <laughs> back. I'm letting y'all head now. Hey, yo. Like, yo, check this you? out. Check this out. On a side note, did y'all know that fucking James Earl Jones was the... Uh, was the model for Serpento and shit for uh, oh, the so inspiration and making Serpento. No. Yeah. Which, My which, man, the, the person that made, you know, conceived Ron. the sculpt up and shit, he watched, uh, he watched Conan the Barbarian. And in oh, Conan the Barbarian. Say, uh, doom. He must be talking Thulsa Doom. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we, um, yeah. Here, go ahead. I'm sorry, kid. Go ahead. He used to, uh, he used to, um, he used to pull the snakes straight and throw it at people and shit. Yeah. That's how, you know, you get Serpento straightening the snakes and throwing it at people and shit. Yeah. He was modeled after James Earl Jones' character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Conan hey this is the bullshit that we're getting now. Wait, wait, hold yeah, on. Can we, let me, let goofy me as hell, but I'm going to make him. But let me judge that. I don't movie. like, I don't like fucking not seeing the figure, man. That shit That's weird. some stupid bullshit. No, it's not. It's, what's wrong with it? Uh, you got to see the figure, bro. You have no idea what's in there. Oh. And then you pay fucking four, almost $40 for a fucking recolor. Yeah. That's all Storm Shadow. <laughs> I mean, this is bullshit. This is all bullshit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't buy that figure. This here is real. This is what we we need, what everybody wants. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Not but that. you know what's cool is people do the repackaging, which is pretty cool. You yeah, know? but I mean, goddamn, I got the uh, the Cobra 3 pack. Yeah. I watched a couple of reviews and everything shows all the figures being nice and tight and everything. I take yeah. and shake my box and there's shit rattling around, moving around. I'm almost interested in opening it up and just make sure I... Actually, have real figures in there. Open that bitch up in front of us right now, man. Fuck that. Word. Man, goddamn, yeah. I ain't got no. I don't feel like spending another ninety dollars for a factory sealed box. Hey, do too many it, figures. Do it, do it. Hold on. Too Hold on. You can wait. Okay, go ahead. That shit off of Amazon now. Yeah, it's ninety dollars. Nah, it's time to Amazon knows it got to be thirty. Uh, Thirty-three dollars. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Ninety. Yeah. They out there. Oh, you talking about those guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about comic the Viper pack. Hey, uh, Raw Talk. What's and up? Kid, and Kid with the Kung Fu grip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little shit on you motherfuckers real quick. What up? Why? Why am I a pimp? Simple. It's because <laughs> when I was uh, 15, you know. Oh, girl. we did sign it. I'm sorry, bro. Why? <laughs> I'm Why? sorry, bro. In the I fuck did I get this with this face? And <laughs> looked around and looked around and saw no signing by kid or I'm fucking sorry, bro. I forgot, bro. I forgot. Totally forgot. Uh -huh. I'll I'm send it back. Man. I might Thank send you. it back to you so I can get. I, I'm gonna call. Uh, what is it? Customer support at uh, Chosen Prime. Like, yo, they didn't sign this shit. They'll be like, all right, send it back. <laughs> we'll, we'll get you. <laughs> Shit, nah, I'll man. send you something doper. No, 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 I, I got, no, no, no. I got you on something anyway. No, I don't even want. I don't even want. I don't even want it. I don't even want it. <laughs> I'm done with you guys. Hey, fuck Hasbro, man. Hey, I won't say. I won't ever say that. But, yeah. Man, fuck, man. I was so disappointed. I hugged it anyway. I smelled it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Exactly. Morgan, director for Power Rangers. Yeah, and she ran that around. shit into the ground. She's and then they switched her over to fucking the best fucking toy line ever to fucking come out. Hey. And she's making that shit fucked up. We're going to have a fucking 
I guarantee you, I guarantee you we're going to have a transgender figure just pop up out of nowhere. How much I want to bet? How much I want to bet? Is it going to have a dick? It might well, have a, If they yeah. do, no one will buy it. And then they'll never do it again. They already got transgender figures. Who? Those motherfucking face selfies. That's not you. When you get them, them selfie figures, that's not people's faces. Hey, they do have a uh, transgender uh, figure coming out. The new Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> that face looks fucked up, bro. Oh, Lord, exactly. mercy. Well, uh, by that rationale, you can uh, put Lady J, the first release of Lady J on that list, too. Yep. <laughs> because she looks straight up like Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, and then uh, yeah. the the baroness on the card. Yeah, yeah. No old, disrespect. Get the to baroness's those, to name the out your fucking have mouth. Have alternate lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. This is GI Joe. Right, how, how do we know what death row is? is? How do we know death row is actually a man under that mask? Yeah. Well, I don't have to take the mask off to show you I'm a man. <laughs> The pants will do. Yeah. I mean, he is wearing gold. But I'm glad you got that uh, M3. Oh, I am too. It looks great. I showed it to Rob Forky right away, and he loves the Psylocke as well. He's like, that Psylocke is fucking fire. Yeah. You got the other one? No, the one in that three-pack. Uh -oh. that, that's why I got that three-pack is just so I could have fuck that. The side art for her, is, she's beautiful. <laughs> Psylocke yeah. is Olivia's that is dope. Um, everybody here's Zeta Zeta TF. <laughs> he changed his name. Motherfucker changed his name. In case you guys are wondering what's going on over on Kaz's stream, Lone Dragon just said, still waiting for Bruce to come through the door dressed as Eddie Valiant. Oh shit. Uh, uh -huh. Right on. Hey, you guys wanna you guys wanna cut the stream and head over there and all of us fucking. No, no, no. I wasn't trying to do that. It's uh, I'm on here with you guys on camera. And I'm yeah. looking at their stream, uh, the chat for their stream on the side. Hey, sometimes you get in there and it's fuck. A lot of times it's fucking off the hook. Dude. So we've done that before. Like we've been talking here and be like, all right, let's go over there. And then we fucking jump over there and shit, dude. I love it. It's fucking fun. He's got a good. Uh, Cass yeah, has got a shit great. Is fucking team. wild sometimes over there, boy. Yeah, he's <laughs> both over there talking about. Yeah. Well, right now it's just both him and probably Steve sleeping shit over there. Oh, it's just him and Steve right now. Okay, so I've gone. I I I personally like um I like Destiny Marie and I like um Cash, but I like um Down Home a lot. Like that girl, we we had three four hour conversation one time with me and Crimson Raptors and her. She's a great girl, man. She's a great like a woman, like a it like a great girl and shit. I like Down Home a lot, but that that the whole fucking Cash show is. Oh yeah, Down. Oh uh, yeah, I call her Pillow. Pillows, yes, yes. I'm sorry, yes. Uh, oh, pillows, and she doesn't complain. Like one I, time, I, you know, raw. That's actually kind of light for you. I thought you were going to say I call her pots and pans. Oh no, that that that's. Uh... I'll say it. I'll say it for you. Don't say it, Destiny Marie. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say it, Rob. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that that's her. <laughs> oh, that's the other one then. All yeah. right, all right. Yeah, now uh, me and Susan got to meet Destiny. She's actually a really, uh, really cool chick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all cool. I just like fucking with them. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I mean, I'm what I'm saying is, I mean, uh, we were walking out, leaving, and she walked outside talking to us. I mean, she's sweet. She's sweet as can be. I'm quite sure. Hell yeah, I know. They all down south. They sweet. Um, Look, every, everyone who participates in this sugar community, kills, long term, sugar is a good kills. person. The fucking guy. You know, occasionally <laughs> we get the dry lunch. Dry lunch. <laughs> but normally it's 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 all good people who get along well. Yeah. <laughs> Prophet, I, I heard about dry lunch. I wasn't in on the episode that had dry lunch, but the next day, like, a couple of people text me like, yo, dry lunch, they, and then this and that. So I went and looked, and I was like, oh, shit. No shit. Yeah, and everybody was, was like, funny, what? Funny, lunch. Yeah. I, I've never seen trolling backfire that hard before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got, crazy shit. Got some yeah. characters over there, boy. Kind of custom displays. But yeah, man. 
So is that bro, exactly you what, what time, is dry you? love? Oh, I, I, oh. See, they didn't know he was a troll and stuff like that. I, I smelled the troll as soon as I seen it. I was like, and I just got on his ass. I paused. But, you know, I just got at him. <laughs> hey, yo, so you, know, all all you have to hey, say, yo, sound like, Even if it's not a yeah. troll, the guy's not saying anything. He's just repeating dry lunch over, over and over again. Yeah. It's like, yeah. all right, I, just boot this fucker. And he, he looked like he was in a, a uh, like a gay, uh, a, a, a gay ass uh, sex dungeon. That's where he looked like he was falling from too. It was hey. probably his mother's basement. Hey, real quick, real quick. Let me let me interrupt. Real quick, criminal element says something, something, something. Anya Taylor Joy. Hold on, here comes this picture, and then criminal element says, uh, "LOL." My seven year old said, "Hey, buddies, to y'all. What's up, seven year old?" How you doing, man? What's up? What's going on, man? You should hey, be watching this with all the cursing and the lewd comments. Hey, yo, check this out. Nah, F it, all that. Since there's a kid but listening. But nice. yo, 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 sound wave. Let's talk about yo. real toys. Let's talk about real toys right now. Yo, Let's so talk. what did you buy? You bought uh you bought uh snake eyes and uh and, uh, oh, dude, that been, shit was a fucking been, scam. That oh, shit was a yeah. fucking scam. Hell yeah. I, I got to talking to him, and uh, I was like, hey, uh, send me a picture. Uh, uh, shit just didn't start sounding right. Yeah, so uh, he's like, oh, I've already got them set up in in the box. You're they're ready for package. I'm like, all right, bet. Uh, send me a picture of the package with, the, you know, with my name on there. Yeah, Facebook something. Marketplace? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah, and then... uh. Then I was like, you know, hey, uh, you, I see that you got another figure. Let me buy that one, too. And, uh, you know, that way you can go ahead and set it in the package and you can go ahead and rip it open. And let me see what you got. Mm. Then he says, oh, well, uh, damn, evidently one figure is missing. I'm like, all right, bet. What? Send me a picture. What you what's missing? Next thing I know, he goes ghost. Mm. Now, and how much they, crazy, how much you was going to uh, pay for both of them? Those were the all, three zero ones, right? Oh yeah, three zero. It was the two snake eyes and the first. Uh, no, it was the two storm shadows and the first snake eyes for two hundred dollars. Oh no, nah. mm. that's that. Yeah, I mean, when that, it that sounds that too is, good uh, to be true, it is. Lower bro. price to be real. That's why I went asking crazy questions. Just you know, send me yeah. pictures. Yeah, yeah. And he he couldn't produce a picture. Yeah. So I was like, no, yeah, fuck you. Were, he was going to send you some Valor versus Venom shit. <laughs> <laughs> the word. That shit would have been upsetting, bro. Well, but see, you know what? If you're going to get like, in what? the 3-0. Two storm shadows and a snake eyes. If you're going to get in the 3-0, maybe go for the the dead game snake eyes first. So you could just, if you don't like three zero, you, at least you have something unique. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of plastic parts on that shit. You well, know I got I mean? like, not watching like a lot of the reviews on. Shit. I got to watching a lot of the reviews on three zero, and yeah. a lot of people are talking mad trash about them. Uh, well, I have three of them, and they're cool. If you like a lower tier, uh. If you like a lower tier figure other than Sideshow or Hot Toys. Hot Toys is probably the top, you know what I mean? And then you got Sideshow and then you got 3 0. Well, but see, I'm looking at the, is uh... the only ones making fucking new G.I. Joes, you know what I mean? They just came out with the, uh, the Firefly. So, I mean, and five, that Firefly looks like the best Firefly out. Well, on. right now I'm looking at that uh, the I think it was a Jocon piece that came with two uh, Crimson Guards, the Crimson Guard Cobra Commander, and the Throne. Uh, I think it was Sideshow that done it. Oh no, uh, Hot Toys done it. I've seen it online a couple of times, like two or three grand. I found it one time for fifteen and. So, um, I that. think I know what you're talking about. I just gotta see the picture again. I know it's the throw. <laughs> it, it might be separate pieces, but it, they might have just packaged it up. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's all separate pieces. 
Yeah, yeah, because that throne, I'm I'm looking at it because it usually goes for like four to five, right? But yep. I'm looking at it and I see one out there, you know, forbid for two something, right? And I'm like, mm, I want to get it, but you know, do I really want want to get it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking shit. Well, you were the one that put me on to uh, sideshow. Yeah, got me looking at those. Yeah. You could, like, you just got to be smart and should try to get it, hey, get quick, at a lower, you know, lower you're rate. A, you're a good customizer yourself. Have you ever thought about making your own throw? No, wait, 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 wait. Well, first, first, real quick, real quick. You were talking about fucking three zero, and you didn't mention Flame Toys. Flame Toys is way Well, better. Flame Toys, Flame Toys don't do one six like that. Uh -uh. You know what I mean? Flame Toys, Flame Toys does... Oh, oh. The okay, Japanese like like <laughs> Flame Toys does the like traditional Japanese guys. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, I'm gonna tell you what, no. Mondo is yeah. killing. Yeah, no, no, they got He Man on lock. They got hey, He Man on lock, bro. Hey, does anybody know if they have actual really good uh big trouble in little China figures? They just came cool. out. Eric, I've who? seen a Jack Burton figure that was all right, but I mean, uh -huh. honestly, with the Jack Burton figure, you might do better um, replacing the head with the uh, what you call it, um, the uh, ego head from Marvel Legends. Eric, but yeah, who did the um the three storms last? Those what? were pretty good. In the avian um. That's who I want. I want the three storms, and I want. Yeah, um, they did the the AVN company. I forget what the, what else their name? AVN something. AVN yeah. figures, yeah. And, and what scale are those? So they, uh, they, they might they, be a little, maybe four inch. Five inch. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, I don't want too. to like uh, you know make anybody leave your show, but I think the reason for the Roger Rabbit joke earlier. Was uh Kaz and Cash are uh, dressed as uh Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit? Jesus oh, Christ. Lord have mercy, <laughs> Christ. What? <laughs> what the fuck? The great, I gotta yes. I, I didn't, I never great. thought that I would see Ka Kaz dressed up as Jessica Rabbit. So here's Lord. the bro, mm -hmm. camouflage one, just took him out. Hey, see. what happened? Anybody know what happened in Seoul the other night? Like, hey, hey, there's a massive show that here. one in, uh, in, in Seoul, Korea. Oh, you just took him out? Yeah, How dare you? Yeah, Seoul, Korea. Nah. See, I want that. I want that storm shadow. I that's, like that's uh, the gauntlet that he comes that's, with. That's three zero, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his? I just. What, what's his like? Uh, hit, man, does he have a? Uh, all right, so that's okay. Uh, does he is have, the like, hood a, wired? Hold on. This fucking hand just popped off. Yeah, them hands ain't worth shit. The fuck God off. damn, boy. It just broke the fuck off. You don't know how to handle toys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Got me bullshit. Right out of the hey, box. Raul, that's, that's why they come with uh extra uh pegs for the wrist because the damn pegs ain't worth a shit. Yeah, yeah they got they're not like uh, Sideshow or uh, Hot Toys. Uh, no, nah, the thin-ass fucking plastic. Yeah. I watched yeah. one review where the dude took and snapped like four of them. Look. Yeah. yeah. Look at this shit, man. Fuck the mother. Hey, wait. Wait, Raw Talk. Raw Talk. I bet that 3-0 kit comes with it, like the extra piece that you because they know it's going to break. Because yeah. Hot, Toy, Hot yeah. Toys did that, bro. Yeah. Like, if... um Four extra ones over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Man, this shit going back. And yes, back. and you know, I've actually seen um uh uh Figma yo, do the same yo, thing. Yo, yo, man. Yo, what give it back. Give it to me, then. Yeah, I'm an Indian. Give it back to you, man. Fuck oh, that guy from. Hey, Raw, just Rock. send it to me. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you. I'll give you twenty dollars for it. Yeah. <laughs> I give you forty. <laughs> hey, check out Jason. Fucking. With I'll me. let you fuck <laughs> my sister. <Yeah>. God damn. <laughs> 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 this shit is crazy. <laughs> oh, shit, got my guy. He just got. Oh damn, Lopan. 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 Anyways, that's my guy. China. 
That motherfucker was uh, controlling uh, shit Lohan with his style. pinkies and shit. Wait, Eddie, you ever see the, uh, <laughs> video, the music video, yeah. Lopan style? <laughs> his boys. He's like Fucking the Asian version of uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. yeah, he's in a lot of movies. Yeah, he's, he's in a lot of yeah, movies. Yeah. He, he, the eighties are littered with him. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see the uh, he shows too? Remember, um, Happy Days. He was in Happy yeah. Days. Yeah. So was Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> yep. They, yep. Uh, the legend. He's a fucking legend. Did I, you ever see that music video, uh, low pan style or whatever? <laughs> low pan style. Low pan style. Uh, 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 fucked up, man. I'm mad now, man. Hey, hey, uh, M3, could you pull that up? Did it Fuck pop it. off or did it break off? It's a like motherfucker. Look. I can't see it from there, you goofy motherfucker. Look, look. Yo. <laughs> from wait, bum. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Shit is broke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. You had bad oh, brains. No, hey. Fucked up. Hey, no, no. Rot out, rot out, rot out. Look at that shit. Yes, yes. You get another one, bro. No, and, uh, fuck all that. This hey, bro. Hey, it's not supposed to happen. But check it out. Check it out, though. I was... Re- Why are you dude. taking out the box, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I did that with Gamora, bro, right out of the box. Her hand broke. And I was, like, live talking about it. And I pulled her out of the box live and shit, right? Way back. Way yeah. back. And fucking, uh, it didn't matter because I found out that there's little pieces that you could replace that with. And then I had to be more gentler. Like, maybe that one? If you're second, Give it, one, here. it better not. It be. broke inside the hand. Yeah, but if yeah. the second one, if the replacement breaks, then it's a piece of shit toy. But if it stays good, it's like. For whatever so reason, check that this out. All you gotta to do is get a. Uh, yeah, you just might gotta like the, the. You gotta get a corkscrew and pull that little piece the, out. The crappy one out of the bunch. Man. I know you put it. You put it in the boiling water for you know five minutes. <laughs> I hey, hate that either way, hey, bro, either way, it's a piece of shit, and uh, I, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> ten bucks. Hey, ten bucks starts the raffle. Oh, Yo, hey, if you want to start off with 10, I'll go to 20. Listen, ooh, ooh, give, ooh. listen, give it to me and I'll glue that motherfucker. Nah, it ain't like I'm posing this motherfucker. For my birthday. Hey, Fuck you don't want to open the birthday, fucking box. <laughs> Nobody told you to do that. Fuck that. This is bullshit, bro. <laughs> Happy fucking birthday, right? Hey, what hand was it? Was his left hand or right hand? Jack his, off, right. his right hand. Uh, thank goodness Storm Shadow is a lefty. <laughs> Storm Shadow so, don't need a hand. That just goes to show you three uh three zero is they look good. They're like uh what's that shit that job you uh complaining about? Uh Hasbro? No, no um, to, um... Seven, seven, super Look, seven. Raw, just, just add it to his story. Just say he got busted stealing in Saudi Arabia. No, what about the, what about the, um, the horror, the horror, um, brand? They'll always be breaking the shit. Oh, super, uh, NECA. NECA, NECA. Yeah, yeah. They know this shit going to break. That's why they see you actually. Oh, shit. They better watch that Jason thing, that Jason, uh, figure when they open it. <laughs> Uh, uh, man, it's messed up. Do you think, do you think Destiny will open up the, the, the figure or just leave it? Pipe down, pull the other piece out, and put the fucking other hand on. Stop yeah. Right. And if they have down, down, just, <laughs> just put it in the box, put it back in the box, and send it to me. No, man. Hey, I've, I've received some broke, like I've done, like, and I'm like, it's fine. Like, I'm like, it's not even the day shit happens, right? Yes, yes, yes. My brother knows me. He'll tell you I'll break something in a minute, not give a fuck. I have broke thousand dollar computers and shit. Open the Mandarin. Open the Mandarin. I don't like that, man. No. (laughs) Open, open, open the, uh, open the, uh, what do you got? You got the uh, Boba Fett. The Boba Fett. I did. The okay. big one. The the double pack. Look, you you opened that. Oh, I'll do this. I know. Yeah, you know. I opened that and looked at it. <laughs> the Boba Fett. Yeah, yeah no. there's a double pack Boba Fett. 
yeah, with you. him with his old fleshy face and Maybe shit like get, that, and then the other kind of one like, with okay, the best Oh, I want to see it. I've never seen that. Growing one. the screen. I got it packed up. It's a third Is that a party. No, no, no. It's um, it's a third party. I don't know who um. No, what brand it is. You know, some of these third side party show? things are getting show? pretty damn. No, it's not sideshow. Yes, it is. My wife bought a sideshow. I've seen the logo on it. What are you talking about? You're fucking mistaken, bro. The, the sideshow side the side show one is the hey. fucking uh, scum and villain. Real, That's real side show. That shit. So I ate the double one, too, because I was going to purchase that for myself. Until my it's wife not, motherfucker. I'm telling you because I researched this shit and I watched a whole video about it, and then I told your wife to get it for you. All right. Well, I'll look at it again. It's a third party. All right. Let me go. A on. lot of third parties do Hold do right. um do nice uh nice sculpts, man. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I only do one twelve scale, but some of those third party figures are fantastic. Mm. I wish like, I was what's in that, that company that did the uh the Neo figure with the soft goods? That's like I said, that's a third party. You know yes, what I mean? But the, it has like they have like some generic name. And they yeah. also because they didn't name it Neo, they yeah. named it the one. Yeah, yeah, that's how and, they uh, do when it they to did get Neo around Vendetta, it. They they named it Vigilante, but I heard yeah. that figure had problems. But, hey, uh, you're the, talking about uh, uh, flame toys, ain't you? No, is it flame um, toys? It might it's be not flame toys. It's uh, mm. you, uh, hold on. Let me see. The first thing they know, did was a silicone body Wolverine that they just called the Wolfman. But it was clearly a Hugh Jackman Wolverine. I'm thinking about uh, as bad as I don't like. Evidently, uh, three zero is a piece of shit. But uh, three zero does had put out the Optimus Prime that's like 18 inches tall. I've been thinking about getting that one. Oh, fuck that say. Well, and I've heard nothing but good things about Three Zero's um, uh, Hulk Buster armor. Yeah, me too. Hot toys. It's not a third party. Fucking hot toys. Made the double joint. Still in here? Alex. Yeah, he disappears once I come with the right credentials. Are you going to open it live? I'm going to show y'all, yeah. And I'm going to put I was right about to say, don't break his wrist. No, nah, he break his wrist. Better not. And he knows this this is this hot toys. It's not a third party, so to speak. <clears throat> Marcos, can you can you put raw full screen? Yes, yes. Sorry, Raw. And Maisie's talking. We were having a conversation. I'm so sorry. It's all right. <laughs> this is it. Oh, that's a big pack. Look at that. Hey, there's a uh, bad glare. Can you pull it out of the plastic? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it, ooh, it looks good. Yo. Hey, so, this alley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the one is from Red Man Toys. Unbox that shit, brother. Man, do All it. All right. Man. Yeah, that's a I bad glare. We can't see it. Crown. it. That was the Joaquin Phoenix I joke. Told you that remote was fucking up. Show us the front of the box, motherfucker. What? Show us the front of the box. Some hot toys. Mother. I, I, give a fuck if it was cold toys. Show me the front of the box. Fucker. Let me see the other remote. The other one. So yeah, you get two figures in one. You oh, get him with his um, what's that shit? Uh, the Sand People guy. What's those guys? Yeah, the yeah, Sand People, the Tuscan Raider. Raiders. Yeah, this, the, the the Tuscan Raider gear, and you get him with his best guard. Yeah, two figures. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Hey, I'm saying, how much are those? 
about uh, probably like if I don't or something or something. Yeah. Yeah. See, I I would yeah. love to actually. I I'd, I'd have to get rid of all my toys and start collecting those just by themselves without mm. without toys. Yeah, you <laughs> step it up a bit on it. I was thinking that way. I was thinking that way of just going statues and yeah. this and just call it a day and just. Mm-hmm. And that Neo is two hundred is one ninety nine for one. Let's see, me and Susan got talking about uh, doing statues and Jesus Christ, man, they are stupid uh, that's, uh, high. Yeah, that's, uh, that big Lita money, Marcos. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful, and the artwork is so fine. Yeah. The, the guy that did it, like, he's like paying attention, and. And there's some dumb statues, but there's some nice, nice, nice ones and shit. Marco, you got a Red Hulk or um, or that um, I don't know what you call him. That one with all this stuff, World Breaker, maybe. I oh no, the Thor Ragnarok fucking Hulk. Oh Ragnarok. Yeah. See, I want to get the uh the sideshow Sentinel, where Wolverine's coming through the chest and all that. Oh, that's the uh the diorama set where you get like. All the motherfucking ones they they put them all out and it builds a big huge diorama and shit. Hey Marcos, yeah, Marcos, do you got any figures that have boobs? No, <laughs> <laughs> liar. Well, <see>. okay. <laughs> liar. <laughs> uh, but, hey, uh, profit director. Uh, let me let me give a shout out to profit director for Sir Pentor being announced coming out for sure. Profit director is giving me one for the price of and no, it's Sir Pentor. I mean, what did I say? Yeah, Serpentor. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they said, I guess. Stupid, but yeah. I was I, I was telling uh, Jason about that little story and shit. Dude, I fucking uh, down you kept your word. You're a man of your fucking Eric, word. Eric, you ordered uh, Dr. Oh. Mombinda and Serpento? I told you, those were the last ones. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Lying like a motherfucker. See, he said those were the last ones. I heard yeah. that last fucking month. Uh, uh, don't Those listen to him. Last Rock ones, man. Well, the it's last the last one. for now. Don't listen to him. Uh, M3, no, don't no, you have no, Dr. Mind? I get the pencil in. I'm going to do a review of it. How is and it? In the review, I'm going to take the uh, his ass beater from him. <laughs> and from then on, whenever you see me in the base, I'll be flying around on Serpento's ass beater. Uh, 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 whoa. Hey, how do you like your Dr. Mindbender? <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 to come back if wait, 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 correctly, wait, wait, techno viper. wait, 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 I love techno viper. I, I can't techno wait to viper. see a techno viper. Did, it's like the yes. only Cobra Trooper I want that isn't blue. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Did Destro ask Serpentor for his ride? Did he tell him, hey, yo, I'm taking this because we made it? And No, no, but look, look, it's my show. <laughs> I'm the writer, so he has to do what I say. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. That is my show. You know, I've I'm done gonna... it a couple other times in, a, in episodes of my show where someone has something I like and I say, well, this is mine now. I'm going to do a pimp <laughs> daddy death show. Of, of, uh, of the Cobra <laughs> organization. Yeah, I'm going to do a pimp daddy death show. I'm going to do Techno Viper. <laughs> Okay, me that chair. I'm gonna do uh, sci-fi. I'm gonna do. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can I think I want to do fucking um, sneak kick. peek. I want to do that fucking you know, ugly motherfucker. Sci-fi was, uh, so was I my can first bring him back to life. Yeah. Wait, sneak wait, wait. peek. Kid, kid, kid. How? Yeah. How will you? Do Pimp Daddy Destro 12 inch fucking figure. I already Wait. have his head. All I gotta do is paint it gold. And then I just acquire what I need to talk to a few people I need to. You know, because I got a guy. You what's what's your, well, what's you your... know, if there isn't leopard print, it won't be accurate. Uh, wait, I got and, a and, guy. Hey, and, hey, just, kid, just, just kid. wait. I got a guy. You know what I'm saying? Kid, kid, what's up? Kid, it has to be. Anodized, so the shine comes off like MCDJ's oh, my fucking skull mask, dude. Hey, no, nah, it it's to gonna be, be shiny gold. like that. It's gonna be I shiny. Open my mouth. That's that. That would be my only like. Uh, 
Prophet needs to fly around in this. I actually have one of those. I, I got to see you flying around in it. But, you know, I have two of the First Order TIE Fighters. They were the right color. Yeah. I like that, man. I wish I was more into Star Wars because I, I yeah, love yeah. Star Wars back yeah, yeah. in the 80s, bro. Yeah. Yes, I, you know, too, I many find fucking, this, uh... too many of those motherfuckers. Hey. I know. That's I think they, I think they surpassed the amount of uh, characters that uh, G.I. Joe ever had. Well, yeah, you know, like, the original Star Wars line was, I think, 308 characters. Yes. And I believe the Black Series uh, is nearing that now. Uh, that's great. Hey, Prophet, I got one for you. <laughs> All right. Oh, but this line, I'm going to get accused of racism for that. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> Hey, oh, what's boy. up? <laughs> hey. Oh, God. That's are you doing crack in front of me? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> That's motherfucker smoking crack and shit in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hit it on the camera. Are you going to offer your daughter crack, bro? What's Yo, Bruce, you, bro? Bruce is on the channel. Look like he got beat up and you shit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? Beat Bruce's I'm gonna have to go in there. I'll be back. I want to see happened? what the fuck is going on. Bruce looks like he got fucked up. <laughs> look at his face. Oh, I'm about to look now. Yeah, I think that's his Halloween costume. Uh, nah, I, I watched the rebroadcast. Then fuck it, man. I'm actually my phone about to die anyway. I'm about to fucking bounce like a ball and shit. Him? No, do they ever? Uh, yeah. Hey, they show Destro's face in his uh or origins when he's dragged in by the two fucking guards. They bring him in before he's uh the, before he gets cast on his uh skull. That's a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're the only one because the is on your face. Hey, uh. Sure. Oh, I hear Bruce. I hear Bruce. I hear Bruce. Who's got Bruce on? Yes, I think Raw has uh, Kaz's stream on. Uh, with yeah, yeah I'm mute. I'll mute so it won't be like an echo. Or nothing. Oh, cool. Hey, is it cool over there? What's going on? We, we'll, we'll, <laughs> I, I, just, I just seen um, Bruce. His face look fucked up. I mean, it's his okay. Halloween costume, but he look like Destiny like, put a beating on his ass. No. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> there's only two people there. Huh? No, no. Bruce like is leaning Steve. against the Bruce door. And Steve. I mean, uh, Cass and Steve. Yeah, on on the live in the um live part, but yeah, the chat room is looking crazy. Oh, is it? Like it's oh, like uh, cool. 70, 17 people watching. You want to? Hey, let's. Ju you want to jump over there? Fucking cause some havoc and trouble. <laughs> it's up to you. Sure. Why not? Yeah, let's good. Do it. I mean. All right. Hey. Um. I'll. I'll. I'm gonna bounce in. Oh. I, I, if as long as you're comfortable with that, because this, this is a good fucking three yeah, hours. Yeah, I'm saying I'm, I'm cool here. I mean, I can sign my right. Man, fuck that. We here, we here, man. All right. Yeah. Let's see what's up, what's up. Yeah, is this <laughs> coming from the guy who just said he was about to jump out? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yo, yo, we hey, here, yeah. we here. But, yo, I'm about to bounce. I'm see right. you later. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna bounce as well. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little time to Kaz before I have to go to sleep. All right, because uh, cool, cool. I do have to work in the morning. But uh, yes, if you guys are going over there, I'll see you over there. Cool, cool. Okay. Yo, y'all be easy, man. Yeah, you be easy. I'm bringing this shit to your house, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, another figure for the shelf. I don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you owe me, motherfucker. Oh, you shit, ball. motherfucker. We you shouldn't have fucking. You, I, I, we when going I, to I don't you, want to hear that. When I, when I seen you, <laughs> I when I seen you had it, bro, we look, going when to I, pause, we going to pick out what the fuck I listen, want. Listen, this listen, right here, man, you shouldn't have known better, man. I don't deal listen, with this. Listen, this, listen, this one, six, when I seen six, you, this. when I seen you handling them, I was like, you handling them all wrong. And no. there you go. Nah, it nah, fell man. off and shit. Fuck, you got to handle it like a woman, man. <laughs> Hey, hey, Rock Talk. This whole time I was trying to mute kid and I couldn't mute him. I don't know how to do it, man. Because yeah, I would have muted kid, bro. 
Rock he talk. that I'm shit with out you, of the man. fucking box like yeah, it was a man. fucking lawnmower or some shit. He ripped that shit out the box, man. You just, you fucking <laughs> <laughs> like Hulk hands and shit. You don't know his strength and she broke the fucking toy and shit. No, yeah. the toy, no. The, he <laughs> Chinese shit. Fuck that toy, dude. Fuck that Man, toy. he's been talking way too much. Fucking cheap Chinese shit, man. Fuck that. Hey, let's let's go fucking check out Cass, because I'm down as a motherfucker. All right, we go there, but this Yo, one, y'all be easy, I'm man. Out. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm, I'm, you All think right. I'm be good. You too. All right, fellas. Hey. Everybody in the chat. Everybody. If we're going over there, we're going over there. If we're going to stay here, we're going to stay here. What, what, what are we doing? All right, all right. Let me uh, 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 end broadcast and stay in. Don't leave yet. And we'll see what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. What's up. All right, all right. Let everybody in chat. Criminal Nimmin now. Bullwinkle. Zach. Yeah, this, this motherfucker gave me a bogus 